It's like it's like uh, if you ever played the first Destiny. I never played any Destiny after that story. Fucking I that that game. I'm not gonna waste my time with. But like in the first Destiny, you go to one of the guides. And he's like, I could tell you about the traveler, traveler, but I won't. But I won't. What? Prosecutor Von Karma? You mean? No. I heard. <laughs> no, I heard. <laughs> that was such a dramatic. No. No. No, I heard it's his successor this time. Successor? Milf, uh, Manfred von Karma was a real sinister man. He pulled out all sorts of nasty tricks so he could win. He was a man obsessed with the word perfection. He had a perfect record for 40 long years. Who knows what sort of dirty tricks he used to get each of those guilty verdicts. And now his successor. I wonder what kind of person they'll turn out to be. It's no good. Mystic Maya! Hey, Pearl's here! You showed up. Thanks for coming all this way. Uh, where's your mother? I was really worried about you. Hey, where's your mother? Yeah, exactly. Did you two come together? Mother's watching over the trainees. So you just hopped on a train, took fucking, what, three hours to get here by yourself? That's hella dangerous. She said they have training for two days straight with no breaks. Oh, fuck. Never mind. I would have done the same thing. I would have pieced out instantly. Then you came by yourself? Yep. I snuck out the manor and followed my map. Don't tell me you walked all the way here. Of course not. I ran. God. <laughs> the seven-year-old is wild. Yeah, I can see it. Uh, I, I can't. Oh, my. If I take two hours by train. Oh, man. Jesus, fuck. Did you eat anything? Are you okay? You need some water? What about the train? Huh? What's a train? What's a what's a tray in? A tray in. I like that. That reminds me of like uh my niece when she was younger. I'll be like, you want some fruit loops? She'd be like, I like fruit roops. She would say fruit roops. I like fruit roops. <laughs> it's time, isn't it? Hmm, I'm really scared. What if Von Karma tries to do something to me? At least I know Mr. Edgeworth would be nicer to me than Von Karma. Mr. Edgeworth? Who's that? Edgeworth. Um, he next rival. Well, he's also a friend. I still remember him as though I'd seen him only yesterday. Every trial was a squ was a was a scoringly fierce battle until the very end. It was always back and forth with them, but when you're rivals for life, Maya, please don't mention that name ever again. Huh? But why, Nick? Oh, she wasn't here for it. He's not a prosecutor no more. He stopped. I'm sorry, Maya. I forgot you don't know. He... He's gone. He's not coming back. Wh what? Wait, he's not coming back? At all? You tell me I put him in the fucking Twitch overlay for no reason? Come on. Wait, wait a second. What's that supposed to mean? Court will commence shortly. I don't want to put fucking Von Karma in the goddamn Twitch overlay. That dude's ugly. <laughs> court will commence shortly. Please proceed into the courtroom. Oh, man. Let's go. Now it's not the time to talk about that anyways. Nick. Excuse me? Keep Edgeworth. Court is now assessing for the trial of Maya Fey. All the prosecutors and the defense prepared. Oh, hello! I retract my statement. I would love to put Von Karma in this Twitch overlay. Effective immediately. I like me a strong woman. Strong woman in uniform. What's with this kid? Ahem, <laughs> Mr. Wright, are you prepared? Huh? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Why does she... <laughs> Why does he always seem mad at me? Mr. Phoenix Wright. Hmm? You know what I'm getting? I'm getting a lot of fucking, uh, 
Same thing from like uh, the PS4 Spider-Man game. I'm getting a bunch of Silver Sable vibes. I love it. You must be a little shocked because I'm a woman, correct? Yeah, yeah, I'm shocked in a happy way. Hold on, so she's the famous assessor with the pr prosecutor Von Karma? I am Fran, wow, Franzeska? That's how you pronounce that, Franzeska Von Karma? The prodigy, hmm, I see. I gave up a promising career in Germany and came to this country for one sole reason, to get revenge. Yep, okay, she has a whip? Oh my god, what, what is with everyone in this fucking courtroom having kinks? Revenge? Is this about her father, Manfred von Karma? Um, is this something of a personal- This is something of a personal nature, I'm sure you can- Oh wow, she wit the judge! <laughs> she should be held in fucking contempt for that! Oh my god, I'm in love with her. If you're- if you interrupt me again, <laughs> my whip will do the speaking for me. Oh, please speak with your mouth like a normal person. I beg of you. Oh shit, she whipped me! Make no mistake, I will defeat you. This isn't okay! Prepare to go down, Mr. Phoenix, right? Prosecutor Von Karma, your opening statement, please? Those of Von Karma blood have only one fate, and that is perfection. Oh, honey, you're already there. Trust me. The defendant, Maya Faye, will find no escape from her guilt on my watch. Very well. What is, the f what is the defense's position? Your Honor? Does the defense wish to enter a plea of not guilty? Yes. Foolish fool, who foolishly dreamed a foolish dream. She's great, but still kind of scary. Hey, man, listen. You can't, you can't go, you can't go through life with some excitement. Without some excitement, you know? Ten minutes. I give the defense ten minutes before it changes its plea. That's right. I have you running for the justified self-defense plea in no time. Look how beautiful she is. God damn it. I can't be mad at her. Justified self-defense. Hmm. Plea usually reserved for when a person unintentionally kills the defense for of themselves. We should very easily make a solid case, and that is what self def uh that is what self defense, but the defense stands by the plea of non guilty, Your Honor. Because the plea justified self defense is to say you did kill someone. Oh, she does a little curse. How foolish. That's how you wanna play, Mr. Phoenix, right? Then I shall now call the first witness. She's just as scary as her father, like Von Karma. Uh, like father, like daughter, I suppose. I love this. Witness, your name and occupation. Yes, sir. My name is Dick Gumshoe. I am detective at the local precinct. Uh, get to the point already. Explain to the court the details of this murder. Y yes, sir. Um, if everyone would please look at this map. The channeling chamber has no window has no windows and the door was locked shut. At the time of the murder, only the victim and the defendant were in that room. Where were they what were they doing in there? Um they well, they were channeling a spirit, sir. Channeling a spirit. That's quite the look for a disbelief there, your honor. <clears throat> Anyways, a few minutes after the channeling started, gunshots were heard coming from the inside of the room, sir. A few of the witnesses broke the door down and rushed into the room. Uh, it, am I going to be called to the stand for being a witness? Is that a possibility? Oh man, that would suck. And that's when they found that's when they found that the victims were already dead. Correct? Hmm. I believe this is one of the most open and shut cases I've ever I ever proceeded over. Presided, proceeded, presided, whatever. Floor plans added to the courtroom. So, how was the victim killed? I was about to get I was about to get to that. Stop wasting my time then. Cause of death. The direct cause of death was a pistol shot to the forehead, sir. The shot was fired from point blank range. But before the victim was shot, sir, 
he was stabbed in the chest. The wound was very se severe, but not enough to cause instantaneous death. The murderer used the pistol to finish the victim off after the stabbing. Hmm. So, the victim was stabbed before being shot. This is the victim's autopsy report, sir. That's like overkill. I mean, like, like, if you have a gun to begin with, wouldn't you just shoot them until they're dead? <laughs> Fucking ran up to them, stabbed them, and just pulled the gun out and said, adios, asshole, and pulled the trigger. The course accepts it into evidence, Mr. Wright. You may question the witness. I will do so. All right. I got this. I got this. Uh. The direct cause of death was pistol shots in the forehead, sir. Actually, you know what? Let me let me just take a nice. After being stabbed, Chelsea was shot point blank. All right. This is a bullet hole in the sheet. Before the victim was shot, he was stabbed in the chest. Stabbed. What was he stabbed with? A fruit knife. I see. And whose knife was it? It looks like it belongs to Faye, sir. And of course, Maya Faye's fingerprints are all over it. Hmm, all over it, huh? Uh, this doesn't, this doesn't look good. <laughs> oh my god, she's so fucking cute. Jesus. I might just lose this on purpose. What will you do now, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Oh god. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I love this lady. The wound was very severe, but not enough to cause instantaneous death. Okay. How severe was the wound? If it had if it had been half of an inch more to the right, it would have hit the victim's heart. After a stab like that, it's impossible to fight back, let alone stand. This testimony makes it sound like Maya had stabbed him with the with the intent to kill. The murderer used the pit why are you screaming at me, Gumshoe? Calm down. Calm down, okay? Calm down, I got this. I got this, buddy. Are you sure he was stabbed first, then shot? Yep, sure as sure can be. One look at the wound and you come to the same conclusion too, pal. A fool is a fool who will only listen to the foolish opinions of another foolish fool. A pistol shot to the forehead at point blank is certainly enough to kill inst instantly. Does it matter, does it matter when uh, does it matter then which was first? Think a little more before you open that big mouth of yours, Mr. Wright. <laughs> what a pain. Nothing sounds out of place so far. Should try to learn more about the murder weapon for now. Okay. But he didn't he didn't change his fucking testimony, did he? Oh, was the murder weapon not added into evidence? Oh shit. Look at her profile! I love this lady. <laughs> Comes you never calms the fuck down, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm in love with this lady. God. I also like the soundtrack that's playing right now. It's very, it's good thinking music. Victim was shot, stabbed in the chest. Very severe. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Um, I, I, God, before he was stabbed in the chest, be very severe. Can I use the, um, the Magadama, like, in mid-press? Like, if I press him and he brings up the knife, can I then, like, check his heart locks or whatever? Would that work? Shit. Very severe, but not enough to cause instantaneous death. Let me see. Your Honor? Okay. He uses that as, as evidence. Well, first of all, I'm not taking I'm not taking that L because I was just trying that out. I think it should just disappear? Okay. So it should automatically go off. Alright, well. I already forgot what fucking sentences I pressed on. So I pressed on this one. 
Did I press on this one? I think I did. Are you sure you were stabbed first, then shot? Yep, sure as can be. Yeah, okay. Learn more about that murder weapon. The murder weapon, Detective Gumshoe. Whose pistol was it? It was the victim's. The victim's? Now, why would he have... Oh, God, even her objections are cute. God, I love her. Why would he... <laughs> why would he have a pistol? Who cares? The point that you're missing is whose fingerprints are on that pistol. If you're not already paying attention to that, then I suggest you start. Fingerprints? There were fingerprints? Along with the victims, the defendant, Maya Faye, were also on the grip, sir. Hmm. So the defendant's fingerprints were left on the murder weapon. I walked right into her hands. Okay. Is any of that added into the fucking... Nope. Alright, cool. From point blank range. Point blank, huh? So about how far away is that? It's anywhere between... Uh, 12 to 20 inches away. How do you know he was shot at point blank? Mr. Phoenix Wright? I grow tired of foolish foolery of the foolish fools of this foolish court. Uh, country, my bad. Excuse me? Gunpowder burn. Gunpowder burn. When something is shot from point blank, a burn area is left around the bullet hole. Gunpowder exploding is what makes the bullet fire, and that, really, and that gets really hot, pal. And there were definitely some gunpowder burns left on the victim's forehead. Wow, never knew that. Live and let learn, huh? That's enough. We have clearly established how the victim was murdered. I brought the two murder weapons with me today. Very well. The court accepts them into evidence. Thank you. The date and time of death was June 19th at, at 3.15 p.m. Eyewitness claimed to have heard two gunshots at the time. And two murder weapons, both with the defendant's fingerprints on them, huh? This does seem like an open and shut case. God damn it. Naturally. This is going from bad to worse. As if the summary just now wasn't oversimplifying things to the extreme. Your Honor, feel free to slam the little gravel of yours. Ga gravel. Gavel. My bad. Gavel of yours. After all, there's no room left for doubt, is there? There's a bunch of room left for doubt. That's quite true, Mr. Wright. Yes? Even in the face of all of this, do you still wish to plead not guilty? Is the op is the opinion of this court that <coughs> is the opinion of this court that if you do not adjust your plea, you stand to lose? See, just as I promised, Mr. Phoenix Wright, you would change your plea in less than ten minutes. What will you do, Mr. Wright? Will you change the justified self-defense? Because now would be the time to do so. This is your final chance. This is a huge decision. I better think this thoroughly. Hell no! She didn't do it! If we plead justified self-defense, we would basically be confessing to murder. After the trial, Maya's life would be ruined, and she'd be labeled a murderer. I can't let that happen. Your Honor! Have you reached a conclusion, Mr. Wright? The defense will not change its plea. We will accept nothing short of complete acquittal. You didn't whip me, did you? You better whip something else. You better whip up this L you about to get served. Yeah, seals your fate, Mr. Phoenix Wright, detective. Detective? Oh, de my bad. She's not calling me detective. She's calling for the detective. Yes, sir. Present the final portion of your testimony. The final strike. Um, yes, sir. Now, see here. Proceedings are run by... <sighs> oh, yes, of course. Go ahead, detective, and give your testimony. I think the court will like to hear about the other piece of incriminating evidence. Which is... Sorry, pal, but there is an even more incriminating piece of evidence. This is the costume the defendant was wearing at the time of the crime. As you can see, it's covered in blood. 
The defendant attacked and killed the person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. Oh, shit. So this is the costume. There certainly is evidence of back spray. Wow. <clears throat> there certainly is evidence of, of a back spray of blood on this. This piece directly links my fate to the crime, sir. I see. The court accepts this into evidence. Oh, shit. All right, Mr. Wright. My fingerprints on both murder weapons and blood splatter on her clothes. Could this situation get any worse? <laughs> What's wrong? You seem to be at a loss. I think this is the last piece of testimony the prosecution should have to offer. Feel free to sulk over with your trial between your legs, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Please stop calling me by my full name. It's disturbing and sexy at the same time. Sorry, pal. Okay. Let's see. I got this. Got this. We, we got this. Hmm. Costume defendant was wearing at the time of the crime. As you can see, it's covered in blood. An attack and kill the person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. How do you know that? He wasn't fighting back? How do you know if he was or, was or wasn't? We can find no evidence that the victim put up any sort of struggle, pal. Hmm. So did the murderer have a fight with the victim or not? Depending on this, the circumstances around this murder changes drastically. Hmm. We're in real trouble now. If only I had something to prove that the victim did fight back. That von Karma, she thinks she can decide the verdict with this testimony alone. Well, I'll find a critical contradiction somewhere, and then I'll have her. Okay, let me see. Oh, I got this. Check this out. Oh, come on! Why were there two shots? Exactly. That's why I was showing him the fucking... the bullet hole. Obviously someone shot in that direction. Or from behind it or something. I don't fucking know. Okay. Maybe... maybe it's under witnesses? Maybe like their testimonies are there? Let me see. Uh, let's for the scoop. Sometimes you're smarter than the game. <laughs> I guess. I, like, I think... It's because I play too many other shit. Alright. If he wasn't fun... Mm. Let me see. So this doesn't do it. That sucks. Well, let me press the other stuff. Maybe something will come to light. Like some other sort of evidence that I didn't see. Even more incriminating piece of evidence. Cosmic defendant was wearing at the time of the crime. Maya's costume. Yeah, she was wearing this when we arrested her. Maya, she's wearing her channeling costume today too. Is she not allowed to wear anything else? As you can see, it's covered in blood. I can see that. One time presented evidence that literally had a contradiction and it literally did nothing. <laughs> yeah, I know. That was all of fucking uh, the third act that we did. It really sucked. Killed me. This blood on the costume. Lab results show that it's the victim's blood. Hmm. So there's blood from the victim on the defendant's clothes. Definitely not good. So, were there any other clues? Uh, that could glean from this piece of evidence? Well... No! 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 You stop! You change the topic, then the good detective here must testify again. But too bad. Not enough time. Let's move on. No. No, 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 no. You don't do that. Now you the judge is on her side. What if I bite off more than I can chew here? What should I do? Fucking press further. I'm not gonna get anything out of this. Uh... Press further. I got this. Why is Miss Von Karma suddenly putting up resistance? There must be a reason as to why she suddenly threw out an objection like that. 
there must be something about this co- You know what, actually, before they fucking- Oh, I wanted to check it. I should have checked it first. Shit. Let's just have to look harder. Mr. Wright? Miss Von Karma's logic is perfect. There's no way for you to poke a hole in it. it. Looks like my time is up. So about the costume. There's nothing wrong. Fuck. 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 I'm not sure if I should back out and examine it. I should back out and examine it. Just to be safe. This one little thing. I should back out to examine it. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna go for it. Your Honor. Actually, there is something very wrong with this piece of evidence. What? What are you talking about, pal? Hmm. Does it have any pockets? <laughs> oh, where's this problem you're talking about? I come this far. There's no turning back now. The problem I have with this evidence here... Oh, look at this. I didn't even notice this. Check that out. I ask the court to please take a look at the sleeve of this costume. The sleeve? There's a tiny hole here. Uh, a hole? But that wasn't in the record. Hold on. What's this around the hole? It smells faintly of gunpowder. Gunpowder? No one ever told me. A hole that smells of gunpowder. It looks like I found- A hole that smells of gunpowder? How the fuck does he know? Did he like- did he go like, hey, look at it, and he's like, let me see that, and then he just sniffed it and said, it smells like gunpowder. I'm pretty sure they've been holding on to it for like a day now. It looks like I found the hole I was looking for. Your Honor, the only logical conclusion you can make is that this must be a bullet hole. Order, order, I say. This is very grave matter. It's best, we con it's best we correct the court's record first before anything else. Maya's costume has been updated. Nice. Sorry about that. I guess we messed up, sir. Is she actually smiling? God, I love this woman. What else is she hiding? Pull yourself together, detective. That tiny hole doesn't change a thing. The strength of the evidence still holds. Continue with your testimony that just now was a fluke, nothing more. How can you say something like that? This is a huge oversight. Well, I agree it is a mistake on part of the police. What Prosecutor Von Karma has said is true. The evidence still stands. If you do not find a more d uh, definitive problem with the evidence, then... No way. Detective Gumshoe, please continue with your testimony. Yes, sir. The defendant attacked and killed the person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. Okay, shit. Well. Give me. Just give me, I'm gonna say like, no promises. I'm gonna say like five minutes. I have to go, uh, I gotta fucking, uh, hold on. Yeah. I gotta go and let my dogs outside and stuff. There's four of them, and they take forever, so. I'll be right back.
Okay, I have returned. <coughs> I have returned with some water. Fucking dogs take forever to use the bathroom. Alright. What the hell is I doing? I'm trying to prove that the dude did fight back. Let me check this. Has a hole in it. All right. <clears throat> My throat is still like a little, a little raspy. <laughs> All right. Pipples are a pain in the ass when you sit them outside. Uh, let's see. Fruit knife belongs to the phase. Bears Maya's prints. Check the floor plans. All right. There's the article. And the key. All right. Let's see. As, as you can see, it's covered in blood. This costume that she wore. Sorry, pal, but there's even more incriminating evidence. Yikes. So I guess... Without a doubt of fighting back. So I guess I can press this again? He wasn't fighting back. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we did this already. Sorry, pal, but there's an even more... Mm, shit. Let's press that. What did you say? Uh, why didn't you say so in your testimony earlier? Uh, you're kind of scary today, you know, pal? Come now, Mr. Wright. There's no need for that kind of attitude in my court. Says the guy who's getting whipped. Jesus. Uh, all right, just please stop glaring at me like that. <laughs> That's hilarious. She was wearing at the scene of the crime. Um, let me see that outfit one more time. Was wearing. Press press the check button for details. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I don't. I don't see anything else besides that. So I think I think for now we probably use that as much as we can. Costume defendant was wearing at the time of the crime. You can see he's covered in blood. Defendant's attack and kill the person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. Like, this really does nothing? At all? Like, for real? Not even like a little bit? Huh. Let's do. Okay. Oh, my, micro my microphone's falling down. Jesus. Two gunshots fired. Uh, there's my end. There's fingerprints on it. Till it definitely matter? Yeah, of course. Um. I guess, I mean, it has both their fingerprints on it, and now we have the fucking, the, uh. <clears throat> now we have the cloth, the cloth, the outfit she was wearing, and we know it has bullet holes in it, so wouldn't this point something out? Yeah, of course not. Yeah, of course not. No, no, no. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I just always, you know, if I had a gun, I would definitely shoot my own clothes, too, at, at fucking point blank. So you see he's covered in blood. Fucking shit. You guys are relentless. I had to kill the person that I doubt was not fighting back. Well, let me, let me press... I'm gonna press again, even though it's probably nothing, but I'm gonna press again. I'm gonna press all the statements again. Say so each other. Yeah, I just did that. Okay. Costume Defiant was wearing. Uh, Defiant. I keep saying Defiant. Defendant. My costume. Yeah. Okay. You can see it's covered in blood. Alright. I give you that the blood splatter from the victim, but. What's this hole in the sleeve? I'm um, sorry, pal. Must have thought it was a tear in the seam. Missing the hole is not what I'm asking you about. I'm talking about the hole itself. 
The smell of gunpowder clearly gives away that there's a bullet hole. Uh, as a little, <clears throat> as if little things like that matter, but they do. A bullet hole in the sleeve, bloody blood splattered all over the costume. Neither of these things can change the fact that the defendant killed the victim. Ah, oh, shit. Something more to this costume. Come now, detective. You're wasting precious time. Yes, sir. Something more to the costume. Like, fucking what? Is there something else in there that I just don't notice? I mean, if it... I mean, it has no pockets, so where the fuck would the knife go? Unless there's pockets on the inside and they're just not telling me that, but... You know... Right? Finna attack, killed the person. Yeah, I pressed this already, I believe. Yeah, I pressed that already. Hmm. Okay. So, I mean, now that there's a bullet hole there, can I, can I pull out the fucking, can I pull this back out <laughs> and be like, hey, look, the bullet hole matches. Hey guys, check this shit out. Ain't it crazy? All right, well, first, <sighs> Jesus, fuck. I'm going to try this again. I'm going to try this again. Yeah, okay, of course not. Finn and attack and kill the person without a doubt. Fight back. Fucking, are you kidding me? Okay. I mean, we already went over that there's a gun. All right, well, that's weird. <laughs> that's weird. Detective Dick Gunshoe. Yes? Hey, have you been calling me by my full name? It's kind of feeling weird. You said the client killed the person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. Yeah, I did. Then what may I ask the bullet hole the police overlook supposed to mean? Um, what does it mean? I'll tell you what it means. It means that the victim had fire off a shot. Is this what it means to not wait? Is this what it means to not fight back? Oh, you're right. It seems you are correct. Even though you pulled out the evidence and we talked about it in depth, but we didn't talk about that for some reason because we just brushed it off, I guess. If the victim had tried to shoot the defendant, then it would ch it would change everything. All right. The witness seems to be shifting. The witness. Did I just say the witness? Wait, was that was that was that what it said? I just kind of kind of read it without thinking what's with that are you finished yet laugh are you finished yet mr. Phoenix right miss von karma it seems that Maya Faye was uh, was shot at the was shot at by the victim however that is not grounds enough to support a justified self-defense plea that is correct but I'm sure you remember your honor what the defense clearly said they reject justified self-defense and plead not guilty. Oh, fucking son of a bitch. God damn it. Not at you. Why, that's right. You're, you're an evil person, and I love it. Which means the defense has yet to prove anything at all. No. Well, well. well yes, that's true. Furthermore... Just the fact that there is a bullet hole in the costume is not enough to sub it's not enough to substantiate even a plea of justified self-defense. Huh, how so? Ugh! Don't just stand there. Hurry up and tell the court what transpired that day. With the new information we acquired added in, of course. Huh, you mean by myself? You want me to put together the scenario all by myself? Ugh! Y yes, sir. Right away, sir. What transpired? Okay. 
During the channeling, the defendant saw her chance to stab the victim in the chest. Of course, the victim used the last of his strength to fight back, sir. While, this two were, while these two were fighting, the victim took out his gun. The victim took a shot, but because they were so close, he missed. The defendant then picked up one on the opening, took the victim's gun, and ended it. Hmm. The scenario you have put together does make sense. Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Wright, on the surface, it does seem to make sense. However, I won't give up that easily. P please refrain from glaring at me like that. Now then, your cross-examination, please. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. I wish they would've gave me my health back, that would've been- that would've been nice, but okay. Okay. During the channeling, the defendant saw her chance to stab the victim. Of course, the victim used the last of his strength to fight back. While two were fighting, the victim took out his gun. The victim took a shot, but because they were too close, he missed. The defendant then picked up the the, op uh, the opening, took the victim's gun, and ended it. Okay. Well, as always, time to press for information. As we do. There's quite a difference in height between Dr. Gray and the defendant. Add in body strength, and it seems unlikely the defendant could have possibly stabbed the victim. Now that you mention it, I... yeah, I guess. You think you can get away with such flimsy reasoning, Mr. Phoenix? Maya Faye was in the middle of, cha of channeling, was she not? Hmm? When channeling with the curing challenging technique, the medium phys physicality changes. With the nurses built, the defendant would have easily been a match for the doctor. I don't believe it. She even studied up on the curing challenging technique. Like I said before, I am perfect. Oh, uh, about what you're talking about, I didn't quite get that. Oh, never mind. Let's continue with the testimony. So you basically, prosecution just basically admitted like, hey, she wasn't doing it, by the way. But we're still fucking prosecuting the shit out of her. So he was stabbed, but the stab wound didn't kill him. But if you think about the blood loss, he was probably hurt pretty badly. How badly hurt would you say he was? Would you, would you say, did I read that right? <laughs> Actually, I went to, I went to give blood the other day. Afterwards, I felt a little lightheaded and dizzy. Um, I guess. I mean, when when they take blood, I mean, how do you prosecute a dead person? You don't. <laughs> I guess you don't. But at the same time, it's like she also admitted that with the technique, like if she studied up on the technique and just said that, you know, that their body changes and they're not themselves, they kind of admitted that that it's not them. Of course, I'm not sure that would that would stand in the court of law, but still, she admitted it. She admitted that she knows. Uh, I guess the damage was maybe about ten times the dizziness. Ugh. S sorry. While two are fighting, you, you okay? You okay, Gumshoe? You giving me the shifty eye? Where in the world did that pistol come from? It looks like the victim, Dr. Gray, has specifically brought it in for the day. But a handgun? He got it off the black market about two days before a murder. Why did Dr. Gray bring a gun? Was he taking precautions against something? The victim took a shot, but they were too close, and he missed. So, you're not saying that the bullet hole in this costume was... Wait, what? So you're saying that bullet hole in this costume was made then? Sorry, pal, but yeah, that's what I think. The two of them were already fighting when a shot was fired. My, I'm really glad you aren't hurt. When a shot was fired. The defense then picked it up on the ground and ended it. Well, that would explain the two gunshots. Maya has never fired a gun before in her life. The victim had already taken off the safety. With the safety off, even an amateur like you can fire it just by pulling the trigger. Even me. I wonder. Now, do you understand? 
Avon Karma's logic is perfect, besides that one that you incarcerated. His testimony, uh, his testimony clearly makes us look very bad. But there's got to be a contradiction in there somewhere. And uncovering it is gonna, going to uncover the truth. I can feel it. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Shot at point blank. Gunpowder. Uh-huh. Two shots are fired. A knife. And the bloody clothes. All right. I'm telling you, I'm looking at this folding screen, it's giving me shifty eyes. Sorry, a chance to stab the victim in the chest. Of course, victim use last of strength to fight back. Huh. By the way, gunpowder is dick. I'm just thinking, because earlier he said if you got stabbed like that, you could barely fight back. But I guess, I guess they're changing that now, so that wouldn't really do much. One year ago, died in the marketplace. Okay. While two were fighting, the victim took out his gun. The victim took a shot, but because they were too close, he missed. The defendant then picked up the, <clears throat> picked up on the opening, took in the victim's gun, and ended it. Shit. Right off the bat, it's already giving me trouble. God damn it. Alright. Fake them took a shot, but because they weren't too close to this. Uh, so we're fighting. I'm sorry, Phoenix. What do you what do you have to say about this? Let me see, Phoenix. His testimony certainly makes us look very bad. But there's gotta be a contradiction in there somewhere. And uncovering it is going to uncover the truth. I can feel it. I mean, I pressed everything I could press, right? Do the shots are defendant. All right. She was at a pump technique. I find it weird that we don't go into that detail even further. But, I... We pick up on this detail, but they don't go into it further, and that bothers me. So they transfer the right status off with the mystery of light. Green jewel is set in the center of the key. Diagram of the building. Hmm. Okay. Murder weapon. Two shots were fired. Bears her fingerprints. Fuck. Stab the victim in the chest. Of course, victim used the last restraint to fight back. Uh, to her fighting, the victim took out his gun. The victim took a shot, but missed because they were too close. He missed. Okay. I'm... I love about the last game, but I've only played through this once, so you're also clueless? Okay, I, I'm happy that I'm not fucking, like... The last thing I want to do is sit here and be like... You know, have one of those videos, because I've done it too. I don't comment on people's videos, but I've done it too where you watch something and then you're like, come on, the answer's so obvious, you fucking, you fucking moron. <laughs> and like, I'm fucking scratching my head right here. And I'm pretty sure people who have played this multiple times would just sit here and be frustrated. Picked up on the opening and they took the... Maybe I just have to... Do I have to really press it in like order or something? Like last time? Never fired a gun before in her life. Even me, I wonder. Hmm. Look at all the evidence again. I mean, I gotta remember that you can fucking... Hadoi. I gotta remember that you can, uh... Look at this. I forgot. I malpractice. Murder during a channeling. 
Defendant, my client, was arrested on suspicion of murder while channeling. That's off lawyer. Local precinct. Claims to be investigator, photographer. She looks for the next big scoop. Okay. She's got to, you know, got to check that. Check the evidence. Um. One year. Diagram of the manor, which. I mean, does the. Hold up. The room, the room doesn't have windows, right? Yeah, it's a chamber. It doesn't have any windows, so, I mean, yeah. There's the lock. I mean, the key. The green jewel in the center. What the hell? Eight inches off the ground. It's a small hole, but it looks like a bullet hole. I, like... My mind keeps going to the panel with the bullet hole in it. Right? But there's got to be a contradiction in there somewhere. Alright. Saw her chance to stab the victim in the chest. Of course, the victim used the last of his strength to fight back. Which, I would, I would think about using the autopsy. But I highly doubt that would do anything, because now he changed his testimony, so... Uh, point blank, gunpowder residue around the bullet hole. Her clothing again? Let me see her clothing again. Was wearing it. Press the check button for details. Hmm. While the two were fighting, the victim took out his gun. The victim took out his gun. Where in the world did that pistol come from? Looks like the victim especially bought it from the black market. Okay. Two days. Took a shot, because it was too close they missed. I'm just gonna press again, just so I can see what the hell's going on. I'm saying that the bullet hole is this costume is made by them. Yeah, that's what I think. The two of them were already fighting when a shot was fired. Okay. Damn. Picked up on the opening, took the victim's gun, and ended it. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Never fight her gun in her life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, after I press the other two statements, I'm just going to start trying shit. It's quite a difference in height between them, add the body strength, and all that stuff. She adjusts to that, right? It was in the middle of channeling. With the nurse's build, the defendant could have easily been in a match. Okay. Let me, let me. She was a top-notch lawyer and my, and my mentor and friend forever. There's nothing here that tells that the, uh, that speaks about them losing themselves during the channeling process, right? Okay. Shit. Perfect. See, Judge doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about. Use the last of his strength to fight back. So he stabbed, but the stab wound didn't kill him. What do you think about the blood loss? Okay. Afterwards, I felt a little lightheaded. I guess the damage was maybe about 10 minutes. Does the... Does the floor plants have the blood splatter on the floor? No, it doesn't. 
because if there was no movement in like the blood pool then you can say that he was pretty stationary for the time but damn Fuck. All right, well. Because they were too close, they missed. Eight inches off the ground. Oh, fuck, for fuck's sake. I'm so fucking confused. Holy shit. Last thing I want to do is start trying everything on everything, but I think it's about time I start doing that shit. Alright, during the challenge process, Divina saw her chance to stab the victim in the chest. That checks out for me. Shot at point blank. Logs the fray. Bears by his fingerprints. Swearing so at the time. Check for details. <sighs> for fuck's sake. Radio surgical clinic died, falling asleep at the wheel. That's not relevant right now. Well, I'm gonna... I wish that autopsy support had more fucking details on it. I'm gonna present the autopsy. Well, first of all, let's save this. I'm gonna present the autopsy report with this. Nope. Strength to fight back. Two are fighting. The victim took out his gun. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck. The victim took a shot, but they were too close and they missed. Nope. Alright. Well. Because. Because I hate. There's nothing more I hate than just brute forcing things. Guess it's time. It's time to call it a quits and pull out the guide. Because I'd rather admit defeat than look like an idiot. <laughs> I'd rather do that. And then once I figure it out, I'm going to be so mad, and I swear to God, if it says anything about fucking pressing in the right order, uh, pressing in the right order, I'm going to be so mad, because I hate that. I hate that so much. All information you get during pressing should be uh, communicative. Communicative. I can't even say the fucking word. All right. Let's see. Uh, Where am I? Very same ant, little thing, old my costume. Alright, after updating Maya's costume, for statement, bullet holes, leaving the cage. It seems everything has changed, but Von Karma states that you have made a mistake. Just support it, justify self defense, blah, 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 blah. Okay, what transpired? Present Maya's costume on the for statement. Okay. Which one's the for statement? Is it, is it fighting, is it fighting back? Which one is it? One? Two, three, four. The victim took a shot, but because they were too close, he missed. He was like, what the fuck? How is... 
how is that a contradiction? I mean, the bullet hole clearly shows that he missed, so... Uh... <laughs> like... Okay. Missing the tiny hole on this costume. Okay. Will be the pr will be the prosecution's undoing. What? What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? This little hole has actually created a huge hole in your testimony. Explain yourself. Yes, please do, because even I'm confused. You said the two of them were fighting when the victim fired his gun at point blank. If that were true, then where is the gunpowder burn on this costume? You know what? When the judge grabbed the... You know what? I'm not even going to be mad about that because when the judge grabbed the fucking um, costume and he said, Man, it smells like gunpowder. My mind instantly just went to, Oh, so it also has like a burn around it too. But in the picture, it doesn't. So I should have paid attention. You know? They, they got me. They got me. I'm not mad. They got me. They got me. It, make, it makes sense. It's just like, if that's the reason, then why the fuck did the judge open his stupid mouth? Made me not even think about it because I already thought that was assumed, right? Okay. If, there were, if that was true, then where's the gunpowder burn on this costume? Gunpowder burn? This is what you testified earlier. When something is shot from point blank, a burn area is left around the bullet hole. Oh. But there's not a single trace of gunpowder burn in this costume. The thing that gets me here, right, that makes me forget about it, is that there are certain things that happen in the game where where they go in so much into detail with something, and then when you turn that logic on them, they're like, oh no, that don't make sense, though. And then when they don't give enough detail on something, and you try to hit them with more detail, they're like, no, 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 you're overthinking it. It's like, what? Damn. But there's not a single trace of gunpowder burn on this costume. This is a very good point. And what exactly does this mean? It means that when the shot was fired, they were standing apart from each other. I mean, at the same time, I love the games. I hate these games, but I love them. Yeah, I love them too, man. Um, like, in my, in, in my defense here, you're assuming that in order to leave, if it has to be point blank, in order to leave the residue, like, the cloth has to be touching the fucking barrel, the end of the barrel, right? Like, I'm pretty sure even if you were super close to someone and you shot them in their, in their fucking shirt, the, the gunpowder wouldn't be around that, the burning wouldn't be around that. Unless you, like, pressed it up against their fucking thing. So you can still say they were pretty close together. It means that when the single shot was fired, they were standing apart from one another. Hmm. I'm disappointed, Mr. Phoenix, right? You think you can punch a hole in my logic with that? With wishy-washy thinking like that, anyone can explain anything anyways. Then I implore you to disprove my line of thinking. Let's see. In the middle of their fight, the victim pushed the, fence away, the defendant away. And it was then, when they were separated, that he fired. How was that? See? It can go up to 20 inches. Did, did they? Really? Okay, well... I guess, yeah. Did they say that? Fuck. Damn. Then they got me. Then I lost. <laughs> it, was, it was then, when they were separated, that he fired. How's that? As if that was even possible, according to the testimony, the wound from the stabbing was very severe. The victim would have, the victim would not have had the strength to push the defendant very far after that. Oh, I'm wounded. How dare you? Well then, that's right. The defendant must have pushed the victim away. After stabbing him, she must have put some space between the doctor and herself. And then while she was preparing to strike again, the doctor took a shot. There. That should, there, that should satisfy you. Okay. 
That does make an awful lot of sense. What do you think, Mr. Wright? I must be careful. I can't afford to make a mistake here. You can make a lot of mistakes. I can make about four. Concentrate and think. It makes sense. Something doesn't make sense. There's a faulty flaw in her argument, Your Honor. Flaw? I mean, fa did I say faulty? My bad. Fatal. <laughs> Very interesting. I would love to see this here flaw. Show me something that contradicts my explanation. There has to be a snag in her explanation somewhere. She put some distance between them before rushing to make the final blow. And when she was about to strike, the doctor took a shot. There must be a piece of evidence that contradicts that line of thinking. Okay. Scratching my leg. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Small hole that looks like a bullet hole. I mean, it's eight inches above the ground. Right? But let's see. Let, let's... Alright. Point blank. Gunpowder residue around the bullet hole. Shots. Knife. I swear to god, if it's in the fucking costume again, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna start crying. This is a piece of evidence that destroys your logic. What is that? A folding screen. It would... I would like to point the court's attention to the hole in the folding screen. Huh. <sighs> It looks like you already know what I'm talking about. Who? Where? What? Mr. Wright, your explanation, please. Are these two really that clueless? The bullet went through the defendant's sleeve first, then the folding screen. It passed through at the height of approximately 8 inches off the ground, which means... When the shot was fired, Maya, I mean the defendant, was not getting ready to strike, but was actually squatting low to the ground. Oh, shit. Order. This has changed everything. Please look at this diagram of the, of the crime scene. The victim, Dr. Gray, was here when he, when he fired the shot, and the bullet hit the folding screen. It hit at the location about eight inches off the ground. At this time, the defendant was in this area. Oh, wait, what? My bad. Uh... Ooh. I, I would say, like, around here, right? Somewhere? I mean, if the trajectory just goes, whew, right? Something like that. Some Somewhere around here, right? I guess, maybe. Somewhere around here. Uh-oh. The judge's face is, is uh, scrunching like he just smells something seriously bad. Um, uh, I mean... Wait, I just realized I forgot to brush this morning. Excuse me? Excuse me while I freshen up. Oh, sure. In the meantime, I want you to think things through again, Mr. Wright. Ah, oh, fuck. Go, go to hell. Go, go fucking burn yourself. You piece of shit. I hate you. I hate you. Okay. Well, maybe she was behind it? I guess? Maybe she was hiding behind it? Either that or she was squatting over here. Let's say she was behind it. Here! Behind the folding screen? Yeah. The victim and his attacker were fighting, were they not? Then what would the attacker be doing all the way back there? Fucking running for her life? Besides which is besides which, if the attacker was behind the folding screen, then how could the victim even know where to shoot? It's obviously impossible. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. Mr. Wright? Oh really? Fuck. Boy, I just screw up royally. Well, she was in front of, front of the screen. She was here. She was standing here, near the folding screen. W wait a second. We know the defendant was close to the ground based on the height of the bullet hole. But how can you gauge the difference from that? The difference? The distance. Isn't it possible that... that oh, wow. Isn't it possible that the defendant was standing much closer to the victim? That's impossible. But why? You of all people should know the answer to that question, Ms. Von Karma. If she was shot from somewhere closer, there would be gunpowder burns present. However, there's nothing of the sort around the bullet hole of this costume. Curse you, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You. Hmm. 
I believe it's ha I believe it has now been proven that the defendant was standing away from the victim when she was shot at. But do you think this has changed the defendant's situation? It doesn't change anything. It changes everything. Yeah, I'd say so, right? Honestly, Your Honor, this changes everything. The prosecution has claimed that the defendant was aiming to kill by, was aiming to kill by stabbing. If that were true, delivering the final strike with the knife would be ideal. However, where and what was the defendant doing at that time? Squatting all the way by the folding screen. Exactly. If Maya Fey was the real murderer, why would she be by the folding screen instead of preparing to strike? Upon further consideration, it does make very little sense. Yeah, I figured there had to be a reason. Figuring things out and proving the logic behind everything is your job. Ooh. Damn, you ain't gotta you ain't gotta sting him like that. Alright, with this the rest of the trial should be in <sighs> Blast radius of disaster. You're such a smart man, Mr. Phoenix, right? Oh don't say that with those fuck me eyes. To think you've been able to take to take a complete hopeless case to this point. Now I know why Papa ha Ugh, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. Ew, that doesn't sit right with me. <laughs> it doesn't have to come for gumshoe like that. Exactly. Uh, Papa had a tough time with you. Hmm. You amuse me. God, what is with the sexual tension? Of all things to inherit, why did it have to be the smarmy smile? Detective. How dare you damage my perfect logic. Uh, uh how is this my fault? You can start repairing your uh, your standing by wait what? You can start repairing your standing by first removing the three wow the three strand goatee. Oh, and rest assured, your punishment will come later. P punishment? Well then, Your Honor, I think I have I have all that I can take this detective of this detective's face. I think it's time to call in the next witness. Next witness. That's got to be Lada. Very well. The court will take a five minute recess. After we reconvene, we will hear from the next witness. Okay. Damn. Upon closer inspection, that was only like, what, four testimonies? And I already fucking had a hard time with that shit? You kidding me? All right. June 21st, 1137 AM, District Court, Defendant's Lobby, number three. Phew, that was a close one. I know you are I know you were giving it your all to defend me, but I could feel the death penalty hanging in there. These games are so damn tricky. Yeah, fuck it. I've never had this much problem with something in like Danganronpa, ever. And Danganronpa has like more fucking uh, shit to do in it. <laughs> so, fuck. I felt like I was pretty close to dying myself. But you were wonderful out there. You listened carefully, made theories, and tricked everyone into believing you. Thanks? Wait, tricked? That must be the lawyer's secret technique, right? By the way, is the next witness who I think it is? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Lotta Hart. Oh, guess there's no escaping her, huh? Remember, Nick? You promised you saved me. If you lose me and my sis ghost, we'll come after you and haunt you. That doesn't sound... That doesn't sound nice. Your sister? Oh, are you talking about Mystic Mystic Mia? I was going to say Maya again, Jesus. Yeah, do you remember her, Pearly? My sister was a super good lawyer. She was also Nick's teacher. Oh, I didn't know that. June 21st, 11.43 a.m. Courtroom number two. Time to take a drink of water. All right. <clears throat> Court will now reconvene. Now the first order of... Ow! I don't want to hear it, old man. After I call my witness, sit there quietly and watch like a good little boy. Y yes, sir. Bring in the... Wow. 
that that really uh, escalated. Bring the photographer who witnessed the channeling. Now, Lada, don't lie to me. I saw the same exact thing you saw. Witness your name and occupation, if you please. Hey, Phoenix, how you doing? Just fine. Sorry about this. Didn't exactly have a choice, you know? Yowza! Name and occupation. I declare... What in tarnation? Hey, Judge, this here is violent against my fair self. That's fine. That's fine? That ain't fine. That's a whip! Ah! There's no need for foolish outcries from foolish fool... From fool... Wow, from foolishly foolish fools. Just hurry up and testify about what's happened on the day of the murder. I haven't even gotten to say my name and job yet. The name's a lot of heart. Paranormal photographer. And I'm here to testify. Now, now. Let's all be, be one big happy family, okay? It's a pretty abusive ass family. Only the doc and the defendant went into the channeling chamber. We were waiting outside the door, then bang! We hear this gunshot. Mr. Lawyer there broke the door down and we rushed into the room. Inside was the dead victim and the defendant waving a pistol around. She wasn't waving a pistol around, cut it out! I swear, other than those two, there was no one else in there. And did you take a picture of the scene right after the murder took place? Reckon course. Eh? Excuse me? Reckon course. It's short for you reckon? Of course I did. Stop it, Lada. Ah! Does it look like I care? Just hurry up and show your picture to the court. The moment of truth. What will be in that picture? Hmm, let's see here. This here is the picture. What about the second picture you took? Hmm. Okay, how the hell did she end up in that location? It would certainly seem that only the defendant and the victim were in the room. Lada's photo added to the courtroom. Are you ready, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I will clear, I will clear all doubts about Maya through this cross-examination. Just watch me. Let me see that picture. How the hell? How the hell did she get to this side of the room? Okay. All right, so what? Doesn't look good. Of course it doesn't look good. She's not on the side of the room she's supposed to be, but she's also not next to the body where she supposedly shot him point blank and or stabbed him. Okay. On the dock and the defendant went in the channeling chamber. We were waiting outside the door, then bang, we heard this gunshot. We heard two sh gunshots, don't you dare. You're making the same mistake that you did in the fucking last game. Was it really a gunshot? Are you insane? You must have heard it as well. Ugh. Why don't you testify for the court, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Was it really a gunshot? Yes. I think it was something that sounded like a gunshot. And why are we here listening to the defense testify? And the world becomes just a little crueler. I heard a gunshot a long time ago, so I know. And I tell you, it was a gunshot I heard. Now this, this is where the story heats up. <laughs> Did you miss anything? You missed a lot. <laughs> you missed a lot. We are uh, still on day one of the trial, but we're on our second round here. Uh, But... You missed a lot, but at the same time, you didn't miss that much because I sat here for probably a good 20 minutes trying to figure out what the fuck was going on. All right. Broke the door down and we rushed into the room. That's true. Inside was the dead victim, the defiant waving around a pistol. You sure about that? She wasn't waving it around. Are you sure it was the... I keep saying defiant. Why am I saying that? Defendant, Maya Faye? Sure, I'm sure. 
Lara seems awfully confident in her testimony. Press her even harder. Still chapter one? No, it's uh... Chapter one was like kind of a tutorial. This is a different, um... This is a different one. Maya's back in court, right? Apparently during like a seance or whatever, spirit took over her and she killed the doctor. But uh, we're trying to prove her innocence. Lada, please think back to that day one more time. What you getting at? Remember what you said when we, excuse me, I had a hiccup. Remember what you said when we broke the door down? I was murdered. Lada, at a time like this? Times like this are perfect for snapping up shots. But anyways, what's going on in here? This gal, is she Maya? Maya, why? Hey. She was possessed, okay? Maybe she didn't even do it. Maybe even the possession didn't even do it. Maybe someone like ninja their way into the rooms like a secret door or some shit. When you saw the murder at the time, you couldn't even tell if it was Maya Faye or not, am I correct? Um, well, yeah, you see. Order, Miss Hart. You are here to present accurate testimony. Yeah, sorry. Good, the shift thinks back to my side. For a defense lawyer, your defense is terribly lacking, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Oh yeah, I had you quaking in your boots a moment ago. Witness, think back to when those two entered the, cha the channeling chamber. When they entered? One of those people that entered the chamber was Maya Faye, correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was Maya that went in. Hmm. It looks like we come to a collective conclusion. The person in the picture is most certainly Maya Fey. Exactly. Rats. I'm trapped like one again. I swear, other than those two, there's no one else in that room. Are you absolutely certain of that? Sure I am. But the old witch chased us out of the room, so... Old witch? Does she mean Morgan Fey? But there was no... There's there no... Eh. But there's no one else there, and you know it? The channeling chamber was very dark, almost pitch black. Was there really no one else in there? What about... Behind the folding screen? Behind the door? Under the flooring? They could be under the flooring too, you know? But behind the screen? That's what I've been wondering for the longest time. What about behind the folding screen? Did you check back there? Wreck given? Huh? What in the... Wreck given? You know. You reckon that's a given? Took me a good look around the room once. There ain't no way anyone was hanging hanging around behind the folding screen. Hmm. If I may have a word with you, Miss Hart. What? You got a problem? Wreck given? I mean, I'm having a little difficulty in understanding you. If you would stop saying such things as wreck get Ugh! Now then, Mr. Phoenix Wright, do you see the problem with the testimony, or don't you? Her story adds up. What's worse, I was there at the scene of the crime with her. And her story is exactly how I would have told it, too. Hmm. Only the dog and the defendant went into the channel and chamber. She got a whip? <laughs> yeah, exactly. She's whipping everybody. She whipped Phoenix a couple of times. And the fucking, she whipped Gumshoe, she whipped Lotta, she whipped the Judge. Jesus. This lady's uncontrollable. Also, she's Von Calmer's daughter from like the first game. And I love her. She's amazing. Alright, let's see what we got here. We have this key. You know what? Let's just keep pressing. Let's just keep pressing. Press everything we got right now. Was it really only those two that went in? blabbering about you were there too were you not uh why don't you answer that yourself was it really just those two of them yes dr gray and maya were the only ones who went in the room hold on we can't have the defense testifying against his own client anyways folks only two of them went in the chamber but you knew that from the very beginning didn't you witness continue i know i knew that from the beginning okay so we pressed that Broke the door down and we rushed into the room. I did break the door down. So, let me get this straight. This Mr. Lawyer there broke the door down. 
Honestly, Mr. Phoenix Wright, why don't you tell us what happened then? Um, yes, Miss Von Karma, I broke the door down. Sorry. What does this feel like an inquisition? <laughs> no need for apologizing, that was great, you're a real man. Oh, really? That's something I would have liked to see. Excuse me? Judge? What's that supposed to mean? The judge is smiling rather openly. I take that as a good sign. Uh, just as I thought, there's nothing wrong with her testimony. What's with her? So I know she's telling the truth. Enough. It seems that there are no issues with Miss Hart's testimony. What about the fucking second picture she took? At the time of the crime, only two people were in the channeling chamber. The victim, Dr. Turner Gray, and the defendants, Maya Faye. Hmm. The face of the defendants, the face of the defendant was not, uh, was not be verified. Wow. Can't read. Cannot be verified in this picture. However, it was talk about, uh, we talked about the circumstances. It would have to be the defendant. What am I going to do if I just let this go? What is it, Mr. Wright? You look as if you have something to say. I got, I got to save my fucking game first. That's what I got to do <laughs> before they fucking kill me. All right, if I make one wrong move, I'm going to have the judge against me. Is there anything I can present that would prove the photo? I present evidence, can't present anything. Shit. Well, okay, let's present evidence. First things first is, there's something in that picture I definitely don't see. Mr. Wright, is it possible that the person in this photo is not the defendant? I, I didn't, I wasn't going to say that. What? 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 <clears throat> Do you know what you're proposing? Yeah, that's just plain fool talk. Thanks, guys. Your show of support was just great. Now, then, Mr. Wright, please show the please show the court the proof. Prove this court that the person in the photo is not my affay. Oh shit! Well, that's not good. A diagram of Faye Manor. Can I look at this again? I mean, from this angle, I don't see any blood on her clothing. But, you know, she's facing away from the camera, so... That may not... That may not work. Now? Let's see. Was arrested. Top notch. I don't think any of these will really help me. So it has to be something here was wearing at the time. Is it even the same clothes? I, I guess it is. So I don't see blood. I also don't see a fucking knife, but we're trying to prove it's not Maya. Um, stab in the chest. Diagram in the channel chamber. I'm just, I'm going to do the clothes. I'm going to do the clothes. I think that's pretty safe. Here's your proof. Is there a problem? Oh, no. I thought I would work on my <laughs> my inflections. Just wondering what an objection with a twist of your wrong sounds like. Mr. Wright, I'm sorry, but I don't follow your logic. Of course you don't. You never do. You never do. Never follow my logic. I hate you people. Present another piece, give up. Maybe they're telling me maybe I do have to give up. Right? You know what? I'm gonna present another piece. At this point, I'm pretty sure I don't have evidence, but... I mean, would it be the picture itself? Because Maya's pretty small, but... But they already talked about that, so... Did they update the floor plans? No, they didn't update that. Okay. Well... I don't know. Right? If you give up, it's game over. Case closed. Here's your proof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. At the ending of the first game, you actually had a choice to not present evidence 
like more than once, which you've never done throughout the whole game. And then fucking, and then they were like, they're like, well, that's what you have to do. It's like, what? <laughs> and now in this game, they're showing things. Earlier, there's like a, with this item, we got the uh, Magadama fucking, if we don't have evidence for certain things, we have to give up. So, can't present anything yet. So I'll give up on it. Well, Mr. Wright, nothing, Your Honor. That's very smart of you, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You really should give up trying to prove this is not my affair. I didn't say anything about giving up. I just don't have the right piece of evidence to prove my argument. That's enough. Is it? Is this all I could is this all I could do? I think this is quite obvious that the court <clears throat> quite obvious to this court that the verdict of the not guilty is not possible. I told you. I told you, totally hundred percent impossible. Mr. Von Karma, Mr. My bad. Mrs. Von Karma, do you have any further questions for this witness? Given having established the defiance, defiance, I keep saying that. The defendant's guilt for the questioning won't be needed. What about the defense? No questions, I presume? I, I couldn't protect Maya. The defense, the defense. Come on, don't give up, Phoenix. You got this. Phoenix, Phoenix, you can't take, you can't make that kind of face. Lawyer is someone who smiles, no matter how bad it gets. Mia! So you had to give up? Yeah, you had to give up. Because, oh my fucking god, did she take over Pearl? What the hell? Also, I didn't know Pearl was here the whole entire time. I didn't even talk to her once. I guess I made it just in time, what did you say? She takes over Pearl? Jesus. Phew, but Pearls. Her clothes are a bit small. Anyway, what are you waiting for, Phoenix? Let's go. But how? She's literally taken away every advantage. The advantage is still in your hand. Pearl has really been just sitting there. Exactly. She didn't even like chime in once. She still she didn't even go like, hey Phoenix, read their spirits or wherever the fuck. <laughs> Think carefully one more time about what you saw in the channeling chamber. Do you remember what you told me yesterday? I don't know, do you remember that you lied to my face yesterday? Dr. Gray. I was murdered. What? A lot at a time like this. Times like this are perfect for snapping up shots. You see, there's one final piece to this puzzle. Mia. Questioning a lot of one more time, Phoenix. Questioning? My bad. <laughs> I don't know if she's doing it unconsciously or on purpose, but she's not testifying truthfully. Of course she's not. Now then, this court would like to end the cross-examination period. Please wait, Your Honor. The defense would like to request that the witness testify one more time. Overruled. Excuse me? I'm afraid you're too late, Mr. Wright. The cross-examination has already ended. Furthermore, any- Ah! It's fine. I allow another testimony. I love you. I love you, Francesca. Or Francesca, however the fuck you pronounce your name. Yvonne Karma's case is perfect. Absolutely flawless. And what better time for this for you to see that? But, I mean, I have some place I must go after this. <laughs> Alright, I'll allow it. Miss Hart, hurry and give us another testimony. Well, heck, what am, I, what am I supposed to talk about? Please tell us once more what happened when you burst into the channeling chamber. Okay, you got it. See, you got through to the judge somehow, right? I didn't get through to shit. Yeah, it was Von Karma. She whipped the shit out of him. Witness account part two. When we broke into that room, all I could focus on was Maya. I was, uh kind of scared of the dead body, so I didn't take a good look at it. I'm really bad when it comes to blood and ghosts and stuff, but I still managed to point my camera at Maya and take a shot. Nothing sounds different from before. Some parts of her testimony were very vague. I should press on those sections. Struggling all you like, uh, struggle all you like as you taste the bitterness of your defeat. 
Well, amuse me with your useless question, Mr. Phoenix, right? I'm waiting. It's so hard for me to hate her. I love her so much. Alright. So, what's she look like? You know, she looked almost like a different person. A different person? She may have seemed like a different person. However, she was still Maya Fey. We have already made that point bluntly clear. Yes, that is true. Well then, Miss Hart, did you happen to see anything else? Why is she paranormal photographer? She's afraid of ghosts? I don't know, the same reason why- Oh, you weren't here for that. Shit, that was a while ago. Uh, in the game Folklore or whatever, there's a character who's an occult, uh, he's an occult, um, reporter or whatever. And one of the things he says is fucking, man, I'll never chase a story that has to do with murders or killing. That's just not what the occult does. And then I sat there for a moment, I stared at it, and I said, what the hell are you talking about? That's what the occult does all the goddamn time. They deal with dead bodies and shit. <laughs> I was, uh, kind of scared of the dead bodies, so I didn't take a good look says the girl who looked around the room. Then perhaps the body was not Dr. Grant. Okay, see, now you're crazy, Phoenix. Now you're talking some crazy shit. Eh? Well, I reckon that's possible. If the body inside the room was not of the Dr. Gray, then whose body was it, Mr. Phoenix, right? Well, what if it was that of Maya Fey? Uh, other, uh, after the channel anger, maybe. Ow! Foolish fool spouting foolish foolishness, just as I expect it's of a foolish fool such as you. If that's were the case, if that were the case, then that would that would mean that Maya Fey is in fact dead. <laughs> Funny as shit. <laughs> and that would make the def Ugh, I keep saying defiant. The defendant's chair quite a lonely place, wouldn't it? Sorry, Maya. Damn. Are y'all done here? Can I continue? I'm really bad when it comes to blood and ghosts and stuff presser on that for some reason. And even knowing that, you still persist in being a paranormal photographer. That's what I'm that's why I'm getting out of there wow. <clears throat> that's why I'm getting out of this here business. This guy was gonna get the dirt on the stars and be a tabloid photographer from now on. She goes through jobs faster than a baby through diapers. Mr. Phoenix right? Would it kill you to stay on topic for a change? Yes it would indeed actually. Well, would it, Mr. Wright? Nice tag team in this scenario. Guess I should be careful. It's not... Uh, it's not in 5.1. What? The fuck he's on about? But I still managed to point my camera and take a shot of Maya. Two, right? To, to what? Yeah, I've been saying this whole entire time. Where's the second photo? Two shots. You took two shots. But... Only one has been submitted as evidence. She did the same thing in the fucking first game. Miss Hart, where's the other picture you've been withholding? No, 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 you got it all wrong. It's not me. I didn't mean anything bad. I know I can be a little mean, but I ain't evil. Well, at least she knows herself. Why have you not shown the other picture to the court yet? Well, ain't it obvious? That prosecutor woman told me to shut my trap about it. What? V Von Karma! M Miss Von Karma, you're hiding crucial evidence. Unforgivable Von Karma. Like father, like daughter, huh? Suppressing evidence like this? You're as bad as your father. Confront her. Leave it to the judge. I'm not leaving shit to the judge. He's spineless. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> I love that. Your Honor, the defense asks that the prosecutor Von Karma be held in contempt of the court. Hmm. Well, yes. Hmm. Me in contempt of court? We can't be serious. But, but you hid evidence from the court on purpose. That's... That's not fair. Phoenix, you're a lawyer. Are you a lawyer or a school child? I'm both, damn it. I was so angry I lost my composure. Miss Von Karma, would you care to explain yourself to the court? I love how she's like, are you a fucking lawyer or a child? But meanwhile, Karma's over here just whipping everybody who doesn't agree with her. 
I thought this picture was not important and thus felt no need to submit it. That's all. How could you think? <laughs> How could you think? The picture was more than less the same, so why bother with the second? I mean, it's just so much more trouble than it's worth for me to submit this as evidence. More trouble than what it's worth? How can you say that? If you want to see it that badly, I'll submit it. Even that shit. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, wow. Well, it's clearly fucking uh, Mimi Miney's face. What's this? What is this picture? It's obviously the second picture the witness took. Wait, hold up. Can I see that again? Okay, I just want to make sure she's standing in, like, the same location. Alright. It's obviously the second picture the witness took that day at the scene of the crime. Well, it's a little off-center, but that's what you get with the nervous amateur. Hmm. I think the important part here is the person in this picture. This is most definitely not Maya Faye. What's the meaning of this? This might be the this might be the break I was looking for. Now, should I should not insist that the person in this picture is not Maya Fey? I'm gonna insist that it's not Maya Fey. Von Karma's probably gonna turn me down like a motherfucker. But Your Honor, as you can plainly see, the person in the picture is not Maya Fey. Yes, I see that. Your Honor? We got him. <laughs> uh, it's not just her face. Her whole body has taken on a different appearance. There's only one conclusion that, we c that can be drawn then. That somehow, this other person snuck in and traded places with the defendant. Alright, see, now you're... Now you're you, you ain't gotta say she snuck in. We know how she did it. Well, yes, I believe you're correct, Mr. Wright. The person who was inside the channeling chamber was not Maya Fey. Mia, we did it! You're too soft. Huh? You're softer than Aunt Morgan's strawberry desserts, Phoenix. Take a look at the prosecutioner of Aunt Karma's face. She's smiling? I think you had better continue to worry, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Miss Von Karma, what do you mean by that? Your Honor, I would like for you to take a look at this picture. Oh my fucking god, how did you get that? Where was that camera at? You putting hidden cameras in the detention center? You can't do that. That's, that's unlawful. What the hell? This was taken yesterday at the detention center's visitor room. This is Mr. Phoenix Wright and the defendant, Maya Faye, during this visit. Maya Faye? But isn't this a totally different person? She looks that way because she's obviously in the middle of channeling a spirit. It's unbelievable that she can- I love how the judge is like, wow, bro, this is crazy. Meanwhile, Mia has fucking appeared multiple times in the first game and in this game right now, there's a fucking seven-year-old child next to me who just instantly hit a growth spurt. Yet? Is it- Yes, is it the truth? Well, when Maya Fey is in that state, she physically changes into the person she's channeling. Miss Von Karma, a word if I may. M Mia, taking pictures of someone during a private visit is illegal. Yeah, it is. Surely you must know that the picture can't be submitted as evidence. Obviously, I know this picture is illegal, but I never intended to submit it as evidence in the first place. What is she? From the moment I showed this picture to the court, this case became all mine. After all, this image has now been forever burned into the judge's mind. Now she's admitted to just fucking being a scumbag? Like what? I don't, I don't even have a single witty line for that. It looks like we've been had. I have been had. I don't claim to understand this, and I still cannot believe it. Are you saying? This person, this person is definitely my F.A. If I give up here, the trial will end. But if I slip up and say something wrong, it will cost me. 
son of a bitch. Oh, God. Are you kidding me? Is there any way I can prove that the person in this picture is not my F.A.? I can prove it. Maybe. Fuck. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, if we can bring a... Well, I'm pretty sure we can't bring a witness to the sand, but if we could and show her the picture, then you know. <sighs> Fuck. I guess. I think I can prove it. Your Honor. Oh, the fire has returned to your eyes, I see. This picture... Within this picture lies a crucial contradiction to all, uh, to all the testimonies up till now. So she's Weasley. Yeah, exactly. A contradiction. So, you think you spotted a problem with this picture? Then earn your keep. Why don't you point out exactly what the problem is? Well... Uh... Huh. <laughs> I mean... The face is different, right? But I may have fucked up. I may have fucked up. Here's the other thing, right? Here's the other thing I also want to point out. Don't want to be this type of guy, right? But I have to point it out. If you look at her, where's the knife? That too. I said that with the first picture, but fucking, I guess the game didn't care. But where's the knife? And also her robes, where the blood is at, I think it's different. Because the blood was supposed to be on these robes, but I don't see that on the picture. I see it on these robes. But, I... Ah, oh God, where is the knife? I guess the knife is in his chest. It, it would, I would assume so. I'm, I'm going to do the face first, right? Please direct your attention here to her face. With your own two eyes, you can clearly see that this face doesn't belong to Maya Fey. Fool. Do you even know what you're talking about anymore? Ow, that hurts. Didn't we just finish discussing that appearance? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I'm definitely going to get hurt for that, aren't I? I know you ain't no dummy. There's a limit to everything, Mr. Right? Yeah, okay, well, fuck you guys. Damn it! So, I'm going to fucking... I want to point out where's the knife, but I wonder if pointing out her hand would do that. I'm, I, I still assume that the knife is, like, in the guy. Like, in his chest or whatever, because that's where he got stabbed. But, I'm going to point out the blood. Or maybe I just can't prove it. Maybe it's another, maybe it's another instance where I just can't prove it because I don't have the evidence yet. But I'm going to point out the blood. Wait, what? I'll give it another shot. Judge is about to close the trial. You can't let that happen. Wait, did I choose the wrong option? Oh shit, my bad. Your Honor? Within this picture lies a crucial count. Yeah, okay. I didn't mean to choose that option. My bad. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. I didn't mean to choose that option. That was my bad. I wasn't paying attention. Oops. Oops. <laughs> that was a big oops on my part. Oops. <laughs> My bad, Maya. I'm sorry. You got incarcerated because of me. My bad. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, all right. All right. I'm incompetent. I get it. Okay. I can prove it. Make sure I choose the right one. All right. I'm going to choose the blood. I feel like I'm going to choose the blood. If that doesn't work, then I'll choose her hand. All right. It's the blood. Uh, I, I guess I'll click on here. I don't. I don't want to. You don't sound very sure of yourself, Mr. Wright. Excuse me, but can you really tell me how much confidence I have in this? Hmm. What is with that attitude? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then it is the knife. Then I guess it is the knife. Then. I guess it is knife. I'm just stupid. I 
can prove it. Also, there's no pool of blood on the ground. That too. I, I guess... The contradiction lies here. You don't sound very sure of yourself, Mr. Wright. Alright, well then, that was wrong, I guess. Maybe it's the guy on the ground then. No blood? I see no blood on the ground. That too. Oh wait, actually I see it now. Never mind, I do see the blood. Fuck. Yeah. Hey. Hey, don't don't do that to me. You're making me feel stupid. <laughs> You're making me feel stupid. Is it the guy on the ground? Just tell me now. Just tell me now. Is it actually the guy on the ground? Because at least I can feel like I did something. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait for your answer. It's something on her. Okay. Something on her. The gun? That's the only other thing I can think of. The only other thing I can think of that or the spiritual shit. So I'll, I'll go for the gun. I don't know why, but I'll go for the gun. Contradiction lies here. You don't sound very sure for yourself. Oh yeah. Well, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Something on her. I see... I don't see a bullet hole. I don't see a bullet hole on the thing. Are we fucking talking about this goddamn shirt again? Is it really the fucking bullet hole? Again? It's the fucking bullet hole again, isn't it? Isn't it? Son of a bitch. To the sleeve? Son of a bitch, I hate that fucking outfit so much. So I was... I was right, but I was right in the... in a different way. It's not the same clothing. That exactly what's so odd. Something that should be there is suddenly missing. Should be there. There was a bullet hole in the sleeve of the defendant's costume. And th if that's the case, then this should be in this picture as well. Miss Von Karma, you. You intend to hide this valuable piece of evidence. You will most certainly be assigned a penalty for this. All right, this could do some major damage to her argument. Don't celebrate yet. You like to bring down the mood, don't you? Take a look at Miss Von Karma's face. God, what is wrong with this lady? She's got the con uh, she got the condescending grin plastered all over her face again. Jumping to the gu jumping the gun again, I see, Your Honor. I would like to extend an apology on behalf of those incompetent fools. What do you mean? And what's incompetent? And what incompetent fools? If these fools down at uh, these fools down at the precinct hadn't missed the bullet hole. I would have gotten a report about it. As I didn't, I could not have known that this picture was of any value to this case. I see. She's lying through her teeth, I know it. That woman knew about everything, the bullet hole, the picture, everything. But you can't prove that. Francesca Von Karma's idea of perfect case is quite fascinating, don't you think? Your Honor, you need not worry. If you must assign a penalty, I personally make sure that the detective gets what's coming. Jesus, no holds barred on him, huh? I'm sure there'll be a great gashing of teeth at his next- Wow. At his next salary. Jesus, fuck. Poor Gumshoe. He's already broke as shit. In any case, this is a very big problem. When the defendant was taken into custody, her costume had a bullet hole in his sleeve. However, from this photo, it would appear that right after the shooting, there was none. 
The judge is confused by this strange twist of events. This is your chance, Phoenix. Load all you got into this one shot, alright? Got it. Watch this, Maya. Your Honor. There is only one logical explanation for this contradiction. This picture is a fake. The bullet hole was made later. The shooter is somewhere else. Ooh. It's one of those two. It's one of those two, definitely. But a hole, uh, bullet hole is made later. Now probably, it's probably shooter somewhere else. 100%. The hole was created much later after the murder took place. After the murder? Hey! Those two gunshots we heard were before we broke in. Or did you forget? Hmm. Is that how it went? Oh, look at me get hurt. The pistol fired only two shots. No more, no less. Yep. Know how to count, right? No, I don't. <laughs> I never, I never learned how to count past two. Damn it. I should have just stuck with my gut. I'm second guessing myself. This game has ruined me. It has ruined me. I lost all my confidence. All my thinking power. It's gone. The defense sleeve had a bullet hole in it. However, this person clearly does not. There can be only one explanation. The person who shot Dr. Gray was not the defendant, but a different person altogether. What? Order! Order! If order is not restored, I will suspend this trial. Ow! Ah! Ow, why me? The defense... The defense argument is a complete mess. A complete mess? I fail to see how. Please enlighten us. Hey, witness! Ah! What the heck? Is that the way of asking a gal a favor? Be quiet, you. You were the one who you were the one who said it was only two of them when you entered the room. Well, you know. If you were lying, I swear that my whip will be the last thing you see. <laughs> Look, sis, you're looking mighty scary, so why don't you just you know, why don't we say you Ah I swear I wasn't lying or nothing. There wasn't anyone else there, honest. You see? Now riddle me this, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Where did the defense vanish to? And where did the other woman appear from? Hmm. Why is, uh, why is it lately all I want to do is cry? Me too! Well, if the person in the picture is not the defendant, then this poses two very big questions. First, where did the defendant vanish to? And second, where did the person come from? That's right. Now, now hurry up and answer Mr. Phoenix right. Come on, you can't fall apart here, Mr. Phoenix, right? Mr. Phoenix? Did I just say Mr.? <laughs> wow. I can't believe that even Mia's calling me by my full name now. But, I mean, how am I supposed to prove something like this? Had enough yet, Mr. Phoenix, right? Or did you think you have enough in your turn thing- oh, Wow. Wow. Or did you think you have enough in, in you to turn things around, even now? To turn things around? That's right. Mia would always turn things around and change her perspective. Phoenix? So, where did this intruder appear from? And where did the Maya disappear to? I need to look at this situation from a different angle. Oh shit. Let's see. Well, let's save. Let's do that first before I get my ass handed to me. What if before we broke in, the third person was already in the room? And what if Maya had let the room somehow? If I can prove that either one of those contradictions were true. Mr. Wright, let's hear what you come up with. I think what happened before we forced our way into this channeling chamber is a third person have entered it. Might have let the room, something I can't explain. There's a third person. Your Honor, I would like to present some evidence. If I prove that there was someone else in the room before the murder took place, check this. Yeah! Please take a good look at this. Okay. I've already seen it. Thank you. And? <laughs> Damn it. Don't you see, Your Honor? I don't think you actually see what you're doing. Ah. 
I think that his core should be. Sorry, god damn it. Way to ruin the momentum, me. Ouch, that stung. Percent thinking over. Think it over. Think it over. I got this. Don't worry. I got this. You know, when I'm backed in the corner like a cage animal, this is exactly how I do it. Would it be this? Because she's not standing in the same spot. Would it be this? I mean, someone can still be hiding behind the thing. What about the four plans? Let's see. There's that. Photo two. Photo one. It's no different. You sure there's no mat at the bottom? Okay. I'm still streaming and be back in a bit. Okay. That's fine. Hope you don't. Hope nothing bad happens in the meantime. Um. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Slightly translucent radio. Okay. Diagram. My fade guy map partial. Okay. Have proof that there was someone else in that room before the murder took place. I mean, it might be this, right? Okay. Okay, no. It's definitely not that. I have to think it over. That's definitely not the thing. I think I'm thinking in the wrong way. Probably Maya left the room then. Or something I can't explain yet. Shit. Maya left the room. Maya had left the challenge chamber some point, and the defense can prove this. Oh? How foolish. Okay. My Fay was being looked up after by her aunt, Morgan Fay. The chance of her leaving the crime scene is lower than the detective's salary. Oh, so that's instantly just. Prove that from the murder until the time rest, the fine had left the room. Okay. I don't... Shit. Where's the, where's the fucking floor plans? I honestly don't know. I'm at another... I'm at another fucking impasse here. Um... Shit. There's no windows or nothing. Let's try the floor plans. The evidence you're looking for is this. What the heck is... Uh, question at the end there for? <laughs> yeah, okay. Damn. Next time, present only the evidence you have. Alright, let's really think this over. Shit. Let's think it over. Person vented, your honor. That's what, that, honestly, that's what I'm saying. Either there's like, so I said it earlier, someone must have their fucking ninja their way past through their secret passageway or something, or hiding behind the curtain or something like that. I honestly don't know. Well, let's see. I have to start over and try to think about things in a different manner. What if before we broke in, the third person was already in the room? And what if Maya had left the room somehow? If I can prove that either one of those con conditions are true, all right. Let's hear what you come up with. I think what happened before. All right, let me think about this. Let me think about this. I got this. Um. I got this. I got it. I got it. I'm be really mad if this doesn't work. But Maya had left the room. Let's do that. Left Chandler Chamber at some point, and the defense can prove this. Oh. How's a foolish fool makes a foolish face when dreaming foolishly foolish dreams? Maya Faye was looking after her. Uh, okay, whatever. Heard you the first time. 
Now I used it on, I believe I used it on the other one. I want to make sure, I want to make sure this is no possibility. Got it. Miss Hart, do you remember this key? Um, well, I've seen it. Yeah, that's the channeling chamber key, right? Before the channeling starts, Maya locked the door from the inside with that. The defendant herself locked the door? Yeah, that's why we can all... <clears throat> that way we can all, uh, we all couldn't get the door open. That key, uh, I can't even fucking read. I'm having a hard time here. That key's the only one of its kind, after all. Oh, one of a kind, you say? Wait, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yes? It looks like she's catching on. I'm afraid to ask, but... Why is that key currently in your possession? Huh? What do you mean? If Maya Faye locked herself in... If locked herself in, then the key shouldn't have been with her. Should have been with her. Yes, agree. However, she did not have the key at the time of her arrest. Ah, well, ain't that a kick. So how come you're holding it? I got this as a present from a certain little girl. And that little girl was nowhere near the crime scene at that time. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? How'd that work? We saw nobody go in the room, but nobody was hiding in the room. There has to be a fucking secret passageway. Come on. That's preposterous. This means that Maya Faye must have left the room. If she had not, then I would have not I would not be holding this key you see before you. No. It seems we have come to an impasse. This picture has clearly captured the face of the murderer. However, is this person the defendant or not? The defense is arguing that this person is not the defendant. Furthermore, as proof, this key has been submitted as evidence. Miss Von Karma? How can this be? At this point in time, a verdict on the defense guilt is not possible. My perfect case! How is there a flaw in my perfect case? Don't think you've won yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I am a prodigy. I have never lost a case. And I don't intend to lose here in the courtroom to a fool like you. Okay, Azula, calm down. I challenge you to Agni Kai. I get it. I don't care what I've been <laughs> I don't care what I have to do. I will get my guilty verdict. You hear that, Your Honor? She's gonna forge shit. That's enough. If you would like to continue, do so in the lobby. Court will reconvene tomorrow at 10 a.m. That is all. Court is adjourned. God damn it. <laughs> June 1st. 1 o'clock. Uh, 1 o'clock. Wow. That, that came out wrong. 1.32 p.m. District Court Defendant's Lobby number 3. Wow. That was you, Pearly? You summoned my sis? Yes. I felt I had no choice. Good going, Pearly. I knew you were special. Hey, Nick, did you know? Hmm, yeah. It's not like anyone else in there could have done that. Hmm, Nick. I know you're trying really hard and all, but... I really don't remember ever leaving that room. And I don't think that a third person could have gone into that room. Yeah. Well, at least we have until tomorrow to figure things out. Like what happened in that room, for instance. Yeah, I'm counting on you. Um, I envy you two guys. Oh, by the way, Nick. Do you think you can take Pearly back home for me? Sure. Alright, Pearls. You ready to go buy some tickets? Um, a, a ticket? Poor thing. She's so sheltered. It's okay, Pearl. I got you. All right, we did it. Amazing. We're not done in the case yet, but we got somewhere. June 21st, 3.24 p.m., Curane Village. Thank you very much for bringing me home, Mr. Nick. You're welcome. I had to come and look into a few things here today anyways. Hmm. 
I thought about this a little. If Mystic Maya didn't kill the nice man, she definitely didn't. Yes, of course. But if she didn't, then someone else did, right? Um, that murderer person? Yes, Pearls. Oh, I see. I wonder what's wrong. She seems so sad. You okay, Pearl? So, what did you think on seeing your first trial? I was really surprised. I had never seen so many people before. Oh. And Mystic Maya looks so small and helpless. Well, Maya's already naturally short, so... And then, the snobby woman with the ruffly clothes. Ruffly? No, oh, she means Franzesca. She had such a bad attitude. She acted like she had already decided that Mystic Maya did it. I'm gonna go tell her what I think of her tomorrow. I wouldn't miss tomorrow's trial for the world. Why was that woman bullying Mystic Maya? Well, she's the opposite of a lawyer, a prosecutor, so her job is to prove people guilty. They don't care if someone's innocent. All they care about is if they win. That's terrible. But she's really a good prosecutor with the heart of... Uh, with the heart on the inside, right? There's no one like that. All prosecutors are the same. Hey, hey, don't do that, Phoenix. Come on, Miles not a... Do you not forget that sweet team-up you and fucking Edgeworth did at the end of the last game? That was fucking amazing. Well, he might have become a good guy. Yeah, see? Eventually. <laughs> he? Who are you talking about, Mr. Nick? Is it that person Mystic Maya was talking about? Mr. Edgeworth? He is edgy. I'll give you that. That was a long time ago. He's not around anymore. Huh? He clutched onto his foolish pride too fiercely and died for it. God damn, Phoenix. What crawled up your ass and died? Holy shit. Oh, that's too bad. That was pretty salty, Phoenix. Oh my god. By the way, yes? Who was it? Um, you wouldn't happen to know anything about who murdered... Or who the murderer is, would you? He died? Wait. Don't... Hey. Are you asking me if he died? Or fuck it, are you saying he died? You know what? If he actually died, don't tell me. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Why are you <laughs> Why are you asking me? I'm confused. Oh no, so, okay. At the end of the first game, which was like the stream I did like two days ago, that 11 hour one that's a pain in my ass. Um, at the end of it, uh, Edgeworth learns that uh, at his first trial that he did, um, evidence was forged uh, and he didn't know about it. So he was presented fake evidence and stuff like that. It hit his pride and he decided to stop being a prosecutor and just move on with his life. And nobody wanted him to do that. They wanted him to get past it, but he just left and quit his job. So, and now it's like, what, a year later? And nobody knows where the fuck he's at, so... I don't know. Now, I was just, uh, no, I was just thinking earlier. I didn't see anything. She didn't see anything, huh? Speaking of that, during the murder, where was Pearls? And what was she doing? Thanks for the recap. Yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. And on top of that, this key. Just when did she pick this up? Pearl's alibi. I just realized that I never asked you what you were doing at the time of the crime. Hmm? Pearls? Where were you and what were you doing when the murder happened? Huh. Wh what, I, what was I doing? I, I wasn't doing anything. She's really bad at lying. You can whisper it to me. I won't tell anyone else, I promise. Oh no! Oh damn, she's pretty fortified. She got two locks. Um, I guess you can see through my lie, huh? Yeah, clearly. Listen, we can do this the easy way, or we can do this the hard way. The choice is yours. I can't lie to you, can I, Mr. Nick? Please don't. God damn it. All right, you know what? We'll come back to that. That's fine. That's fine. It's really empty. Trading was supposed to be held today, but I guess it's already over. Okay. No one wiped up that blood on the floor. 
June 21st, Faye Manor Channeling Chamber. Hmm. Looks like Morgan's here too. Wait. Oh, wait, okay. Looks like Morgan's here too, but hasn't noticed me yet. What is she doing? It looks like she's talking to a picture. Oh, God. Are you okay? Do you see? Take a look around. Finally, my chance has come. I've waited for this day for so long. That's right. Prepare yourselves, dear Misty. What in the... Who's there? Now, that wasn't suspicious at all. Oh, if it isn't Mr. Wright. Um, just curious. About that picture you were just looking at. Oh, today was that event, was it not? Good sir. I heard you did well. Huh? Oh yes, thank you. I'm terribly sorry I couldn't, couldn't attend the trial today. Please accept my apologies. She's sus? Of course she's fucking sus. She was sus from the moment I met her. She's probably the one who, like, ninja down into the fucking place and, and tuck Maya's place or something. I don't know. I think she did it. Yeah, of course she did it. She's super suspect. I had a previous engagement as I had to watch over the trainees training today. I get the sense she really doesn't want to talk about it in the picture. See, my, my fear here is that somehow... Because she said that no one had, um... The the ability, uh, no one's spiritual abilities is close enough to the Fey family. But she said that um, that Pearl, that Pearl was a, a prodigy amongst them. So, I really hope she didn't somehow mind control Pearl, get her to change and fucking pin it on Maya, right? Because Pearl's missing. I don't know what happened, and she was in the room with us when we heard the gunshot. So. I get the sense, I get the sense she really doesn't want to talk about the picture. All because Master can't be here with us, you understand. And that is why a lowly branch family member such as myself must do this. Oh yeah, I'm not buying it, lady. I'm not buying it. It's your fucked up hairdo that doesn't even match your, your art style. <laughs> hey, you remembered anything about the murder? Wait, who's Misty? Oh, Misty is the name of... Of Mia and Maya's mother, who I believe is currently the head household, uh, the head household, is the, uh, the top person of the household right now, but her mom, it's weird, because from what I remember, okay, bro, she did it 100%, yeah, from what I remember in the first game is that their parents died? Or something? Someone died in their family. I don't remember. Uh, but I thought her mom died. I guess her mom just didn't. I guess her mom just, like, stopped doing, uh, medium shit because she was involved in a different case, like, a long time ago. And she gave some fucked up information. And, you know, her reputation got hit or something. So, we haven't met Misty yet, if she is alive. Can't remember. I'm guessing she is alive. But we haven't met Misty yet, but she's the mother of uh, Maya and Mia. Have you remembered anything about the murder? No, I told you everything I know already. Were you, uh, were you in this room? <clears throat> were you in this room the whole time with Lada? Uh, oh wow. The whole time Lada and I went to call the police? Yes, of course. I was by Mystic Maya's side the entire time. I was... I performed the spiritual seven tech... Uh, Spirit severing technique and held her in my arms afterwards. Hmm. You said that yesterday as well. Did anything else happen? I would like to say more did. However, this is all that occurred. Uh, I was really hoping for some new info. I suppose nothing happened in the end. Good sir. Sorry to have played, uh, play, wow. Played on your hopes. Can't even read. Can you possibly be more patronizing? Okay, training. So, do the students train every day? Yes, absolutely. They were given a day off the day after the murder, of course, however, and I assume both Maya and Pearl went through this training. Mr. Wright. Y yes Wow, she got real scary, real fast. How many times must I tell you before you understand, good sir? They are to be addressed as Mystic Maya and Mystic Pearl. Sorry, I meant Mystic Maya and Mystic Pearl. Wait, I'm sorry, but Mystic Pearl? Isn't that going a bit too far? Next question, please. Oh, man. She's really been a pain in the ass. 
She went full avatar? Exactly. I will now enter the avatar state. <laughs> but, um, please remember to watch not only what you say, but how you say it, good sir. You're the only one who cares about that shit. So the master is, um, Maya's mother. Mystic. Misty. Okay, Mystic Misty is a brilliant medium. And where is she now? We are not sure. Not sure? About 16 or 17 years ago, Mystic Misty failed at channeling a certain... Okay, this is what I was talking about. It was, a, it was all in a case in the first game. And after that, she simply disappeared. I don't believe she was willing to return to this village. Okay, so she's not dead. She just left. And in four years' time, her name will be forever erased from the village. What? Erased? A person who has been away from the village for over 20 years is considered dead. Oh, I see. And that is 40, and that is four years from now for her. When that happens, a new master will be appointed to the Kyrian village. And Mystic Maya was supposed to become the next master. However, with this murder, I'm afraid, I'm, I must be imagining things. I thought she was laughing to herself for a second there. Okay. All right. Okay. You're hella suspect. There's two ways I can see this happening. Either she did it, right? Or she didn't do it, but she's really hoping for Maya's downfall. Like she's praying on her downfall. Been plotting on been plotting on my downfall. Let's go speak to Eeny Meeny, if I can find her. Looks like there's no one here. And even though the weather is gorgeous today, it's raining inside my heart. Aww. Poor Phoenix. June 21st, May, uh, Fay Manor side room. The bedding is all laid out today, too. Guess I'll leave them alone for now. Hmm. She's not here. Can I check this out? Hmm. I keep wondering about this box. I'm sure this wasn't here before the murder took place. It looks like a box for storing clothes, but it's pretty big for just clothes. It's mostly empty, but a few folded pieces of of a cha wow, a channeling costume sit at the bottom. <laughs> Back bitch, what I missed. <laughs> uh, we went and talked to um, we talked to the aunt. Uh, what's her name? Morgan. We talked to her. Uh. And then, apparently Pearl's hiding something from us. She's not telling us where she went during the murder. Still charming to see a real sliding door like this in person. I love those sliding doors. From here, I can see the wind, the winding way. Winding way? Winding way? Whatever. Winding way and the little garden in the, con in the courtyard. Talk to the crazy lady. <laughs> that we did. Talk to the crazy lady who's just gone like, yes, yes, it's all coming together. My master planned. Yes. Hmm. All right. What the fuck? What do I have? Still don't know where the fuck this knife came from. Not suspicious at all. Um, I think I'm going to go talk to Maya. I think I can talk to Maya now. I'll question you later, Pearl. I'll be back for you. Don't you worry. Maya must still be in questioning. God damn it. Okay. June 21st, right in co-law offices. This case has had a- oh wow. This case has had me out of the office most of the time. I can come back tomorrow. Helping Maya should be my top priority. Hmm. Okay, well... I didn't... learn anything. You know what? Let me head back to the channeling room. What's this? Piece of cloth with a ton of fi uh, finely written characters jammed onto it. Okay. Here's one in English, it says, 100 ways to save money. Ooh. Being a medium sounds like a rough way of life. I bet it is. Let me just examine this room. Real 
quick. She was looking at a picture. Is this it? I guess this is an altar. Whatever it is, it feels very important. A mirror-like object with a cloud with a cloudy reflective surface. And some branches of a sacred tree have been set in the predetermined arrangement. I guess they're used during the cha uh, challengings, challengings, channelings. This folding screen is really showing its age. All of its edges are a bit tattered. The lettering is fading too. I think I recognize a few of the characters on here. Ku Ra In. I'm pretty sure that's what it says. Maybe I'll ask Maya about it later. No secret doors under here. This is where Medium sits. I assume there's four panels on the floor. Straw flooring feels a little bit damp. Probably from the humidity in the air. God, I can't imagine this room being super humid. Oh, God, all sticky and uncomfortable. Ugh. I hate it. I hate it so much. Okay. Well, not much in there. Not really much to look for. I guess I can question Pearl now. Let's not pass out while questioning her, though. Alright, Pearl. Hate to do this to you, but you leave me no choice. Open your senses. Damn, look how serious she is. Fuck. Pearl? You have to tell me what you're doing when you mur when the murder happened, okay? Um, but what if I can't just tell you what happened? Then I guess what happened... How does that sound? What? You, you can do that? You'll tell me if I guess something, right? Won't you? I yes Now then, the murder was taking place. You were here, right? Uh... Were you... Oh god, I have no help! Jesus! Okay. Were you in the... Were you here? You were here, weren't you, Pearl? In the Winding Way? Wow! You got it! So, do you think you can tell me now? I'm sorry. Not yet. Man. Oh man, alright. What's next? Okay, I think I know what you were doing there. Do you really know that much? Well, I am a lawyer, you know. Now, what was Pearl doing? Okay. What the hell? She had a key. What was... Pearl? Okay. What was Pearl... Okay. What was it Pearl was doing and... Alright. I don't... She was running around with a knife. I guess. I mean, this is the only thing that she had on her, and she handed it to me, so... This is gonna get me killed. So? I feel just a little better. Huh? You are a lawyer, but you're also still just a person after all. God damn it, I'm dead! Mr. Nick. If you push yourself anymore, your soul will shatter. Please calm down, collect your thoughts, and try again. I made too many mistakes. How do I do that? How do I collect my thoughts? How's that go? What the hell just happened? Alright. Claiming you died out of fall asleep. Let me, you know what? Actually, you know what? You stay here, Pearl. You stay here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go check that garden out. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go check out the garden. What was you doing here? That, listen. This thing has to be broken. There's no way this thing isn't broken. Call the old urn. As from person long dead inside. Looks like something with a long history. Other than that, it looks broken as shit, I swear. Okay. Incinerator. Small incinerator. No garbage trucks. Yeah, we saw that already. Splendid garden with the small lamp and traditional decorations. It's a bit small to walk around, although the incinerator uh, piques my curiosity. Okay. That's the side room. Looks like guests can use it as a place to take a break when they feel tired. What 
the fuck were you doing over here, Pearl? Okay. Well, I guess I'll check out the side room then. Maybe some stuff in here that I just didn't notice. It's a small alcove. I have no idea what's supposed to what it's supposed to mean or symbolize. If I had one of these in the office, I would end up store it would end up in storage space. But here, it's decorated with pretty with some pretty flowers and a beautiful hanging scroll. Okay. This is decorative wood bear sculpt sculpture. It's played attached to the base. Kirin Village, the heart of channeling. What the it's a souvenir. So does this mean it's easy to spot bears here? Or for them to spot you? Okay. Excuse me. Who am I talking to? There's no one here. Okay. Hmm. What the hell were you doing here, Pearl? What the hell? This door leads to the... Okay. Outside looks really nice. The iron in the door was t was tampered, making it very solid. I mean, tempered, not tampered. But I guess it wasn't strong enough to withstand the phoenix! Dark phoenix, the most powerful phoenix. Someone with a lot of skill wrote this for Chinese... Inf uh, f wow. Wrote these four Chinese characters with a brush. Oh look, there's a translation. Once in a lifetime. It's a message that people should value their ghostly meetings as once in a lifetime chances. Okay. That's nice. What the hell? And I checked everything in this room, yes? The meditation room's on the other side. Doesn't seem possible, but I managed to break it pretty badly. Okay. Oh. This is where the medium sits. No matter what I do, my eyes keep getting drawn to the pool of blood. Alright. Whoa. What's this? There's some empty space behind the folding screen. The lighted candles can't reach back there, so it's completely dark. There wasn't anyone back here at the time of the murder. Or that's what Lada testified in court. I knew I should have taken a look. I can't always count on Lada to make things... Okay. Count a lot to make it difficult for me. Anyone can hide in here. Look at these fucking cupboards. These are cupboards, right? Someone can totally hide in there. And just jump out. There's nothing you have to say to me. This? This is the key to this room. That's right. Why do you have it, good sir? That, I'm not telling. Return it at once! I can't. It's evidence, after all. I think she knows exactly how important this key is in the murder. But what is this feeling I'm getting from her? It feels... I can't describe it. Okay. That's Mystic Maya's costume, isn't it? It's a shame I've never thought anything like that would happen to her. But we don't know that it was Maya that did it. Oh, poor Mystic Maya. Do you ever listen to anyone other than yourself? Alright, that's not important. The gun. It's not important. Check this out. There's six... Uh, <clears throat> there are six parts to the Kirin's sacred wall. To think that this valued treasure of our village and Mystic Maya were both shot by a gun. Well, that's... Even if it was something that, that occurred during a channeling, it is an unforgivable act. Alright. Ma'am, are you aware that I can see through your lies? Okay, never mind. Alright, well, that's everything for you, I guess. Hmm. Challenge chamber. Let's examine through here. Giant rock, seems to reach for sky. Put on a beaten up old sign. Alright. The hell is this? Rustic. 
Alright, I don't think there's anything important out here. Maybe the phone? Alright. Well, shit. Pearl? Maybe I can maybe I can show her some evidence. I don't want to, but maybe I can. What about this key? Pearls? You found it on the day of the murder, right? Yes. Now, where'd you find this key? It's very important. So, please tell me, Pearls, where'd you find this key? Um, I found it in the incinerator. What? The incinerator? She's talking about the one in the garden? The door on it was a little open, so I took a peek. Oh. It was after the chan- uh, sh It was after the channel link when everyone was in a panic. Hmm. Um, uh, Mr. Nick? Yes? Are you gonna tell my mother? Huh? You mean tell Morgan what you did? Yes. If she finds out that I was playing in the leftover trash, I'll get a spanking. Ah, uh, gotcha. Well, let's keep it a secret from her then. Oh, the incinerator. Sounds like a good place to search next. Son of a bitch! God damn it! I just did that! I didn't mean a click exam. My bad. Hey, there's someone by the incinerator. Who's throwing shit up? Is that Maya's clothing? Oh, looks like they've noticed me. And now they're running at top speed towards me. Oh, hey! Like, you're that dentist guy. Actually, it's Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Nice to meet you again. Oh, like, real suave. So, it's like my turn. It's nice to see you too. So, what's up? You're all out of breath. L like, uh, oh, like you mean, like, I just totally happy and like totally excited to be here. Excited? Like, I mean, there are so many things like to see. It's like the real deal here. Oh, really? For example? For example, like that urn over there. Do you like know about it? All I see is an old cracked piece of pottery. Like, what's happening, dude? What's happening, bro? Well, don't mind me. I'm just gonna check this suspect shit out. That's right. Pearl says she found this key inside the incinerator. I guess I should take a look inside for myself. Th this is from Maya's costume. There's blood on it. A tiny bit, but still. Okay. That's important. Hmm. Talk to me. Is there some sort of... The fuck? That thing is super busted and broken, I swear. It says I am. Alright. I, I guess. Is there some sort of legend connected with that urn? Like, yeah. It's like, this village is treasure? Huh? Didn't know that. And like, it's sealed inside that urn. Hmm. It's... What are you talking about? Like, you know... Ami Fei's spirit. Who? Ami Fei? Who's that? Like, geez, Mr. Smith, get with the program. Everyone knows the lady that found the Kirayan challenging... Uh, channel, well, challenge, channeling technique was Mystic Ami. Um, you don't have to get upset with me. So, like, as long as her spirit, like, lives in that urn, the spiritual power of the Faye family, like, sticks around. Like, isn't that totally romantic? Um, romantic? Yeah. That urn is really as important as it says it is. Could be a vital clue. I wonder, it's not like I was checking it every five seconds. Eni, I would ask you about the murder. Murder? Dr. Graves, remember? As if there's another one? Oh, that one. Like, you should have said so in the first place. So, like, I totally don't know anything, cause I was, like, sleeping in the side room? Well, that's not much help. Did you notice anything at all? Like, come on, what a total bore. I, like, totally have nothing to do with this, like, murder thing? 
That one? What, the urn in the background? Yeah, it looks super busted. Oh yeah. He only introduced Dr. Gray to Kirin Village. No relations, sure. Even if you're only acquaintances, that still means you knew him. Furthermore, your sister who died in the accident was the nurse at his clinic. She's an imposter, I swear. Alright then, why don't you tell me about your sister's fatal incident? Like, why? You think, like, it's something to do, like, with the murder? I don't know yet, but I'm trying to chase down every lead I can. I can see through your lies. S psychic locks! Like, what is it? Looks like I'm gonna need something to pry her mouth open on this one. I don't say that, Phoenix. Hmm, any sus. Yeah, of course she is. Super sus. Like, I don't think I totally believe her. So, there's a spirit in this urn. Hmm, all I see is a bunch of cracks. The thing isn't even put together correctly. Like, one push can make it fall apart. It's not even stable. Look at that shit. But I guess maybe the spirit should live in the space between cracks? Hmm, looks like something's written on it. I am? Oh, I get it now. I get it now. Pearl might have busted the fucking urn and put it back together stupidly because it's supposed to say Ami. Pearl, did you break the family sacred urn? God damn it. Is that why you're so fucking super suspect? My leg itches. <laughs> Pearl? Pearl, what the hell is going on? What did you do? Oh, I was about to load. Oops. Nah, I would've I would have cried if I did that. Pearl. Open your senses. Pearl, what did you do? Pearl. Pearl, oh my god, look at my health. Oh, I'm totally gonna die if I get this wrong. Pearl, what did you do? Pearl, I need you to answer this truthfully to me. Seal the cracks all over it. It's chipped and cracked all over. Pearl? Did you desecrate the ashes of your great grandmother? So? Feels just a little better. Oh, okay, so you didn't bust it. Who busted it? I'm gonna die here. I'm definitely gonna die. Watch me die. Huh? I'm super dead. Oh. It doesn't kill me, I guess it just puts me to super low, so once I get in the trial, I'm just fucked in one shot. Pearl, I just need to know. I just need to know what the hell you was doing. That's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. You gotta stop lying, Pearl. Yeah, even I thought it was that. I guess she didn't break it. I mean, that- I mean, a kid would lose their shit if they're like, Oh, fuck, I totally desecrated my ancient ancestor's grave. I'm so fucked. Unburned remains. I highly doubt this has anything to do with her. So, yeah, okay. Highly doubt that has anything to do with her. She was just playing in the garbage. So there's something else there. Okay. Well, at least, at least it's nice to know that you didn't desecrate your ancient grandma's fucking ashes. You didn't solid snake that shit and, like, rub ashes all over your face. Uh, back over here. Let me double check that, um... Let me double check this. So, someone tried to burn this. And this key was also found in there. Hmm. I get the feeling this incinerator played a crucial part in the murder. Okay. What do you got for me, Eni? Hey, 
show me your true form. Traffic accident. Please tell me about the traffic accident. Huh? Like, whose accident? Your sister's accident, naturally. Oh, um, oh yeah. So, like, the Dr. Grey guy made my sister fall asleep. And, like, that's all I have to say about that. Um, interesting. Eni just asks whose incident. Which means she must know something about another person's. Alright, let's change the topic then. How about you tell me about a certain other person's incident? Huh? Another person's incident? Like, you got something in mind? Uh, what? Patients died from malpractice. Gray surgical. Got someone in mind? Um... The vase? I don't, like, I don't think Eni would care about it because she doesn't, she's not a, she's not part of this place, she's just here on a study. I don't think she would care about that. What about the doctor's malpractice incident? Tell me about that. Oh, wow, so like, the person had a car accident too? Okay. The name on the vase? Yeah, but I don't think that's in, that doesn't go to my record, does it? Because right now... It's Ami's fave vase, but but uh, it's just fucked up and it's spelled wrong. I huh. Oh, I didn't know that we got this. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, never mind. Besides, I'm like an occult fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Hold up. I'll, I'll come back to you. I didn't know that we unlocked Ami as a person in a profile. Okay. Well, that's new to me. Maybe if I present that to, um, Pearl. Instead of the vase. Let me just try that real quick. Because I don't have anywhere else to go. Well, actually, you know what? Now that I talked to Ami, maybe I can actually talk to Mai? Yes! Hey, Nick. I've been waiting. She looks so helpless. So, so, how was it? What'd you find out? Um, well, I found a few things. <sighs> it is so bad that you can't even look me in the eye. I just need a little more time. It'll all come together by tomorrow, I promise. I'm sorry, Nick. Every time I see you, all I do is cause trouble. Oh, that's not true. You helped me out plenty of times. So how was it? Today's trial, I mean. You were, f you were fantastic, Nick. Every time I thought you... <clears throat> Every time I thought your goose got cooked, you managed to turn it all around. I bet it would make a great ho Hollywood movie. Or an anime. Don't be silly. We have, to con we have to concentrate on the trial. We're gonna win this, Maya. Thanks a lot. Really. Hey, Nick. The person who shot Dr. Gray wasn't me, was it? Of course not. You're completely innocent. If that were true, then I'd be really happy, but... There wasn't anyone else in that room with the two of us, right? Well, did you check behind the- Wait, first of all, I love how I'm talking about the case with Maya. First thing fucking Phoenix should do once he walks in here is look around for fucking hidden cameras because Von Karma's on some bullshit. Well, did you check behind the folding screen? Hmm, I did take a quick glance, but there wasn't anyone there. Uh, that's exactly what Lada said, too. I highly doubt that, though. Um, Nick? Yeah? Why do you believe in me? Why do you think I didn't kill Dr. Gray? Because you totally didn't. Because of something Mia told me. My sis? Ah, oh, hold up. I got a call on my phone. I'll be right back. Jesus Christ.
I am back. Sorry, I had a call from my, uh, from my family. They went on, like, vacation, and now they're just telling me they're on their way back. They'll probably be here in, like, an hour or two, maybe three hours, depending on how traffic is. Anyways, <clears throat> my sis, what'd she tell you? She said that spirit mediums can't have dreams. When you're channeling, it's impossible for you to dream because your soul leaves you. Now that you mention it... Wait, then... Then I'm really... You're not the real murderer. I think that maybe before... <clears throat> I think that maybe before you even called the spirit, you were drugged? Drugged? I think this was planned from the very beginning. And you were... Eh, yeah, wow. And you were set up to take the blame for, do for killing Dr. Gray. That's... That's... That sucks, I know. I want to ask you about something about Pearl. Pearly? What about her? No matter what I try, she won't answer me. I want to know what she was doing at the time of the murder. Huh? Wait, wait, Nick! You don't think she did it, do you? Of course not. I trust her with all my heart. No, no, nothing like that. She never do anything like that, you hear me? Never. She's a great kid and a really cute... And, and great and cute. I didn't really think she was the murderer. But she definitely is hiding something. Mm. You were with her on that day, right? Yeah. The two of us, we were playing with her ball. A ball? Hmm. Sounds like a dead end to me. Tell me about the ball. So about this ball. It's nothing really special. Just a plain old ball. I think she was still playing with it when I started channeling, when I started the channeling job. Pearly really loves to play with that ball. She loves to play with the ball. Huh. When she wants to get it, she always climbs right into the clothing box. The clothing box? Yeah. Pearly's always hiding in there. You know the... Son of a bitch. So remember when we went back into the fucking uh, channeling chamber and I said, hey, look at these little fucking cupboards in the corner. Someone can totally hide in there. Someone took the clothing box, stuffed it in the corner and hid in there. That has to be the case. Maybe they like hit the clothing box behind the, the thing, hid in there, got out, popped out, said ooga booga booga, stabbed somebody, shot somebody, went back in like a zombie, like fucking... Like it's Castlevania, like Alucard, just going back in the coffin. So when the side, uh, so you know the side room, there's a clothing box in there. It's really big, so once you see it, I'm sure you'll know what I'm talking about. The clothing box in the side room, huh? Okay. Did that not get added to my fucking... Guess I'll go check the clothing box then. There's nothing I can do in my office, right? Just want to make sure. Let me just head back here. Is there anything I can show her? The key? Ah, that? The channeling chambers? This is the only one in the world, right? Yeah. During the trial, I was kind of wondering why you had it. I got it from Pearls. That's weird. I swear I locked the door and then put the key into one of my, pou my pouchy sleeves. Your sleeves? But how? But how and when would... Wow. <clears throat> but how and when would your sleeves leave that room? It didn't grow a pair of legs. I wonder where Pearly found that key. Okay. That's Kiran's sacred urn. Mystic Ami's soul is sealed inside of it. Yeah, I know all about it. About how she's the founder of Kiran Technique. Oh, look at Mr. Smarty here. Thinks he knows all. You sound like an occult fanatic. Trust me, this isn't gonna be my resume anytime soon. You know, I haven't looked at this in a long time. I wonder when it became so cracked. What is this? I'm not too sure myself, but I found this just now inside the furnace. Huh? Is it trash burning day already? That's not something I would know about. I guess she didn't notice the blood stain. Probably better that way. Do you know anything about this knife? That's a knife from my family kitchen. I've never been able to use it. I'll never be able to use it again. It's alright. I'll buy you a new one, okay? 
That's not the point. I don't ever want to see another knife. Ever again. Alright. Well, thanks for your help, Maya. Nothing else to talk about. You didn't give me... You didn't give me anything, but I guess I'll investigate the... Oh, shit. I was gonna go investigate the clothes box again, but alright. Hey, Lotta. Hey, wait! Please, Lotta! She ran off into the manor. Okay, what the hell was that about? Lotta? Hey! I'm telling you, quit following me, you hear? I'm a worthless piece of trash. You lay eyes on me and they'll turn to dust. Oh, I guess you got a lashing from Von Karma, huh? Well, that was interesting. Oh, there's her ball. It says Steel Samurai on it. I'm pretty sure I saw a lot of run in this direction. But it doesn't look like she's here. Oh, look at this. It's Pearl's ball. Maybe... Maybe... Oh, wow. Maya said that she always kept uh, in the clothes box. So then, what is it doing on the floor? Well, I'll take that. Lotta, get out the clothes box. This is the clothes box where Pearl keeps her ball. I wonder what's inside. Ah! What? What are you doing in there? What are you thinking? I'm a bad person, just another piece of human trash. I needed a hole to crawl into. So, you crawled into this clothing box because there wasn't a hole to crawl into. Oh man, huh? There is a small hole in the clothing box. And it's about eight inches off the ground. Oh, so someone was totally hiding in the clothing box and they just, they just shot they shot from the clothing box. They said, fuck it. I'm just, I'm gonna just dead shot it. I never miss. Bam, bam. That's the same height as the hole from the founding screen. Founding screen? My bad. Folding screen. Then could this... Okay. That's interesting. Lotta, are you in here? Oh, Mr. Nick. That person ran by here just now. What person? Um, you know, the person with the fluffy cotton candy hair. Um, you mean Lotta? She said, don't look at me with a mize. But I'm not that scary, am I? I don't think that's quite what she meant. Oh, that's right. She also wanted me to tell you. Going on a trip to find myself, so you don't bother finding me. Oh, well, thanks. You're welcome. Now, Pearl, we've been through some ups and downs, but I'm gonna need you to come clean. I now hold your soul within my hands, Pearl. Do you hear me? I need you to tell the truth. The truth must come out. I must see the light. You're playing with your ball. Am I right? Am I right? You were playing with this ball, right? Ah, oh, that's right. How, how'd you know? Well, that's one lock. Maya told me that you love to play with your ball. Hmm, yeah, I was playing with my ball. Uh-huh, and then? Something happened, huh? Something really bad. What, what do you mean something? Nothing happened. This is it. While you were playing with your ball, this happened. You busted the fucking urn. Gotcha! Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. This urn? It's the village's treasure, right? So you did break it! I was- so I already had the fucking- God damn it. Um... And the spirit of the founder of the curing technique is sealed in here, right? So you did fucking desecrate grandma's ashes. Jesus. I called it ahead of time. 
What's this? It cracked all over, isn't it? There's even a few gaps in here and there. Um, please don't tease me. Ah, uh, it's okay, Pearl. It's okay you broke the secret urn. I mean, who hasn't desecrated their grandma's grave once in a while, right? The ball smacked into it and knocked it all over. And if Morgan found out, she'd kick your ass. She doesn't seem to be fighting back. I think I hit the bullseye and probably crushed her spirits. But isn't it strange that the lock hasn't broken yet? Okay. It's... It's really old urn, isn't it? Okay, so that's not the secret you're really hiding. You're hiding something else. I just hit my fucking desk, my bad. It's so old, so it's not that weird to have a few cracks. Her voice is shaking. How can you tell the urn has been broken? Um... Because you misspelled Ami? I, I guess... I guess I would choose this? You misspelled her name? Who started the curing challenge, uh, channeling technique? Huh? Oh, um, it was Mystic Ami. That's right. And how do you spell her name? Do you know? How do I spell her name? Um, I don't know. It's spelled A-M-I. I thought it was a little odd when I saw I am written on the urn. And that's how I knew someone must have broken this urn. And made a mistake in spelling when they put it back together. Wait a minute, so she's not- hold up, I swear to god that locks break because of this. She's not hiding the fact that she broke it. She's all like, yeah, I broke it, I'm super in trouble. She's just super fucking- she's just super embarrassed that she can't spell for shit. <laughs> Oh, my health came back. I feel so strong and powerful. Why doesn't that happen in the trial? Okay, Pearl. Around me, Mystic Maya started the channeling on the day. On that day. I was playing in the winding way with my ball. And that's when you broke the urn? Yes, I broke it. I accidentally let Mystic Ami spirit fly away. Don't worry. Morgan will never know, okay? I'm a bad child. No, you're not. You're, you're amazing. Breaking a village treasure is unforgivable. Hey, ma'am. What they don't know won't hurt them, okay? I thought that maybe they would make me leave the village. But the broken pieces were pretty big, so... You thought you could put them back together and no one would notice. Yes. You know what? From what I see on that urn, I see no glue on that urn whatsoever. Let's take a look at this. There's no glue on that urn whatsoever from what I can see. So it's pretty impressive that she can just vertically stack that shit. I found some glue in it. Okay, never mind. Never mind, take it back. Take it back, she used glue. Sorry. I was giving her too much props. I found some glue and brought it to the hallway and fixed the urn there. Clear glue? Oh, that could work too. Yeah, but where... Would you think a mystic village would have clear glue? Maybe they would. They got all types of fucky shit, I guess. You know what? I take that back. The hallway, you mean Winding Way? Yes. Oh, she looks so sad. The channeling had already started, so I didn't think anyone would walk back. I see. So about how long did it take you? It must have been a nasty repair job. Yes, I might be strong at spiritual things. But when it comes to arts and crafts, I'm nearly I'm not as nearly skilled. When I had finished fixing the urn and looked up, I saw you coming into the manor. So that's around when Lada and I were coming back inside after reporting the murder. When I saw that, I packed everything up in a hurry. Um, Mr. Nick, what is it, Pearls? I'm I'm gonna be banished, aren't I? No, it's fine. Don't worry. I'll just show that your mom's a murderer, and then you won't be banished, okay? It'll be fine. Your mom will be banished. You won't be banished, though. It'll be fine. Everything will turn out great. I really don't think that's gonna happen. I mean, I bet Mystic Ami's happy to be free from that cramped urn. Y yeah, I hope so. No harm done, and a happy resolution. Phew! 
Sacred Urn updated to the courtroom. Okay. Well, that's cool. We figured that out. Now all we gotta do is figure out the shit with the... Uh, what's her face? With, um... Uh, with Eni. So what do we have? What do we have for Eni, actually? We have a busted urn. Clothing box. Is there... Is Detective Gumshoe anywhere? Phew. I think I found out everything I can. But I can't see how it's all add up. Hmm. <laughs> and is Eeny Meeny being here just a coincidence? Hey, mister. How is that the spirit... <clears throat> how is that the spirit Dr. Gray wanted to call just happened to be the nurse? And the nurse turns out to be Eeny's sister. It's too convenient. Hey, Phoenix, I'm talking to you. I wish I knew a little more about Eeny. But where am I going to find info like that? Oh, I get it. You can't be bothered to look over at trash like me, is that it, Mr. High and Mighty? Ah, oh, Lotta. Oh, so finally noticed. I thought I heard a mosquito buzzing in my ear. Oh shit, wow, that was fucked up. <laughs> Although I couldn't understand a word. Well, I gotta hand it to you. You sure know how to chase down garbage. I mean, I'm grateful to you for chasing this large lump uh, one around like- Wait, what? Chasing this large lump of one around like this. Um, thanks? But you know, you're just wasting your time. I'll be fine on my own. What are you gonna what are you gonna do? And as for following or chasing or whatever it is, isn't that you who are wait what? Isn't that what you're doing? Um well you see. Well, you're not exactly a real gentleman with a lady's heart, are ya? You're not exactly the world's number one charmer either, sister. Damn. Just stabbing each other. Just fucking just hurting each other, hurting their feelings. What's up, Lada? Today's trial. What the hell was that about? Look, I'm really dang sorry about today. Well, I get all fired up about something. It's impossible to stop me. You hurt Maya really badly, Lada. Mm. I don't suppose you can forgive a gal like me? Of course I can forgive you. I like you. Well, I guess I can. You did help Maya out after all. For real? Yeah, for real. Aw, oh, thank goodness. I'm still... I'm still what? N no, 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 nothing. Nothing at all. Just talking to myself, you know, gibberish. Now then, a lot of heart at your service. I'll share with you all the dirt I've digged up. Thanks. Hey, don't be all surprised. Tell you what, I even give you all this info for free. A lot of not taking money. Now I know this one's an alien clone. If Maya's not the real murderer, then, who do you think it is, Lada? Well, heck, ain't it obvious? Is that a cult freak? You mean Eeny Meeny? Well, there ain't anyone else who could be, right? And that granny, you and me, we were all together that whole time. So Lana suspects Eeny? Which means she might have already found some info about our mystery, about our mysterious Eeny. Well, fucking spit it out. I guess I'll present this. Hey, that's Eeny Meeny, right? Yeah, I was wondering if you know anything about this girl. You know, actually, I did a little checking up on her the other day. Her sister, she's the one that Dr. Gray wanted to call back from the spirit world. Yeah, I heard as much. I had also heard that Eeny was one of <clears throat> the one who introduced Dr. Gray to Kirin Village. You don't say. That's one sneaky gal, if you ask me. Hey. Well, um, want me to tell you more about her? Uh, yeah. It's kind of what I need. It would help out a lot. Speaking of Eeny, do you have any other information about her? Sure. Well, what is it? <laughs> it'll cost you, and it'll cost you a lot. Oh, silly me. Here I thought free meant no money necessary. Um, uh, no money necessary. That girl was hospitalized about half a year ago. Hospitalized? But why? Well, heck. You, you can... Wow. You can go find out on your own. Huh? 
Here, I'll get you the clinic's address. Maybe you'll find out something. Maybe? What's that supposed to mean? Well? See, actually, it was gonna be annoying, I reckon, so I didn't actually go there. Ugh. Well, that's the way gumbo spills, right? Gumbo? Spoiled gum- wait, spills. Spoiled, my bad. Spoiled gumbo sounds... I mean, look, don't blame this on... whatever. Looks like I don't have much of a choice. Better go check out Hottie... wait, what? Hottie Clinic. What? Is that really the name of the fucking clinic? Are you serious? Hottie Clinic. Ugh. No way. Hottie Clinic reception. So, this is where Ine was hospitalized. Oh my fucking god, is this guy okay? Jesus. Yes, are you here to visit a patient? Um, yes, are you a doctor here? Yes, I'm Dr. Hottie. Oh, Jesus fuck. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be speaking with the director himself. Yes? So what can I help you with? Um, I would like to ask you a few questions about Miss Eenie Meenie. Mmm, Miss Meenie. Miss Eenie Meenie. Ah, oh, yes, mm, oh her. Ah, oh, it's too bad. I'll tell you something. That girl left here. This shifty ass eyes. Ew. <laughs> that girl left here a long time ago. Here you are, sir. You know, you shouldn't be up and about. Come on, it's back to your room with you. Ugh, oh, sweetums, calm down, calm down. Don't be so harsh to an old man like me. Don't you dare start that sweetums thing with me. Wait, is he a patient himself? So you don't behave, you'll get yourself tossed out of this hospital. Wow, I didn't think nurses could be this direct forceful towards their boss. Come now, be a good boy and give him back the director's white lab coat. Okay, I got it. I got it. Um, yes? Don't, um, yes me. Who in the world are you? I'm Director Hottie. That nurse went off somewhere. Oh, the inhumanity. Only people I can talk to. Only person I can talk to is this guy. Ugh. Gotta go. Well, that's fine. Hope you have a wonderful night. Hope you get a good amount of sleep, because I know I am. I'm gonna fucking pass out. So, what exactly do you treat... Uh, what exactly do you treat at this clinic? Hmm, yes. We treat all sorts of doctory clinical stuff, yes. Doctory clinical stuff? Well, I don't actually know how particular... or particularly care about the details. Hmm, yes. What, what's with that look? I see. There's a really big general hospital around the corner, hmm, yes. When they can't, um, when they can't accommodate everyone, they move someone, uh, they move some of their patients here. You do surgeries here, right? Hmm, yes. Hmm, yes. We do some plastic surgery here, it seems, hmm. It seems. Hmm, yes, um, hmm. It seems that way. Okay. What do you know about Miss Eenie Meenie? I uh, hate this character. <laughs> oh man, I hate this character too. Oh god, he's creepy. I looked away from the screen for a second. Jesus fuck. Now you're talking, hmm, yeah, it's that girl. She was transferred from the general hospital. I really hope you didn't touch her with your fucking creepy ass fingers, you loser. From the general hospital to here? Wait, from general hospital to here? What kind of surgery did she need? Hmm, yes, well, she needed surgery. It was really bad, really bad. So what kind was it? Hmm, yes, well, no, no, you see, this is something, no, I can't tell you. So, you say with a happy smile on your face, Mr. Director. See, there's this thing about how doctors aren't allowed to talk about patient stuff. It's in all those TV shows too, right? You see them, right? Hmm, yes, hmm. I never, <laughs> I'm never going to get him to unzip those broken zipper teeth. Oh, God. There's gotta be something I can do to show, uh, there's gotta be something I can show this old coot. Alright, well, maybe. Maybe if I show him the, uh, surgical clinic. Maybe if I show him this. Can I not present? Oh, my bad, I gotta go to present. 
Um, so what do you want to know about this? Okay, never mind, that's nothing. Alright. What about this? Nothing. Okay. I guess there's nothing for me here? I'm supposed to show him something. Let me see, I don't I don't think there would be anything around here, right? Playing reputation, that's Word of the raw word of the wise. Do something in vain and your only reward is tiredness. Okay. You know what? Maybe. Maybe I have to show him the uh character profile. Hmm, Miss Eni is really cute in this picture. You agree, yes? Yeah, sure. I wish I could see her again. Maybe the next time she's a big she has a big accident. Hmm, yes. I'll tell her for you. Hmm, yes, please. Hmm, yes, I'll be waiting for her. Hmm, yes, wait, 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 waiting. Wait, is he added to my... Uh, he should be. Hold up. Yep, he totally is. All right. Guess I'll go talk to Eni then. Uh... Where is she? She is... Hi, Pearl. How's it going? Okay. Particular patient who claims to be director it seems to be extremely healthy. Alright, well, let me see. How do I, uh, things present, right? Okay. Let's see. Talk about an incident. Okay. I guess that wouldn't work, huh? Damn. No, it's fine. It's fine. You win this round, Eni. I'll come back for you later. Let me see if I can, uh... If anything changes in the chambers. No? Okay, never mind. No, something would change if I go here. Uh... Let's see. I'll head back to the clinic, all right? Um... About this person. Hmm, hmm, I feel like, I feel like somewhere. I've seen her somewhere before, I think. Hmm. Well, when she comes tomorrow for her consultation, I'll make sure I can get react. Okay. I don't believe this. This guy is a very... Very rapey. I'm not I'm not even gonna cut words about it. He's just very, very rapey. What the hell do I have to show to this guy? Maybe he'll recognize her in this photo? Now this one I'm talking about. Hmm, yeah, it's nice. This is nice and exciting. What do you think? Does anything grab your attention? There's no mistake. This nice. Hmm. Yes. I like. Mm, yes. Mm, I like this picture. Yes. Mind if I borrow it for a while for a private re- Get the fuck out of here. Uh, that's okay. I don't think I should support this research. Okay. What the hell? Yeah, I highly doubt that would do anything. Cause nothing, nothing appeared. Uh, huh. Show the attorney's badge? Really? For real? That usually doesn't work. What's this? I'm a lawyer. Right now, I'm investigating a murder. Hmm, yes, yes. With, the fa with the, your angry face, violent is the answer. Hmm, yes. The trial is tomorrow. I would really like some information from you. Hmm, is that right? Well, you know, I think I can let you in on a little secret. What's that? Hmm, yes, actually. I'm not the real director. You're kidding me. I don't know what half a fly brain knew that. Eh? What do you mean? I don't have to explain this to him. 
Well, hold on. I'll give you something. Real information, okay? I'm actually this clinic's, you see. Uh, wait, what? I'm actually this clinic's, you see. I'm like this clinic's walking di dictionpedia. You mean walking encyclopedia? Yes, yes, mm, yes, mm, yes. I am specialty is in young, silky smooth, haughty pa- Okay. All right, well. Yep, he's, he's a super rapey. There's nothing I don't know about them, but I can get embarrassed talking about them. Uh, yeah. How about you keep that kind of information to yourself? Oh, anyways, you want to know about Little Miss Eeny Meeny? Hmm, yes, yes. That girl? Oh, I remember her especially well. Really especially. Uh, okay. Alright. Well, tell me about her. Tell me... Uh, okay. But don't tell me too much. Please tell me what you know about Eeny Meeny. Hmm, yes, I get that. Trust me, I will. I'm surprised this is the first time my fucking badge has done anything. That girl, that's right. She was transferred here from the General Hospital. This was, hmm, yes, a year ago. She was on those emergency cases. What the hell? I'll be right back. Someone's knocking at my door.
Damn it, I got up in my fucking, no, no lie, sitting in this chair for a while. Hurts. Jesus. Yeah, sorry about that. It was my, uh, it's my brother coming to pick up his dog. A loud ass fucking dog. Makes a lot of noise. You're stomping around the house like a, like an elephant. Alright. <clears throat> uh, what was she? What was she ill with? Ill? Nah, nah, she was injured. <laughs> Um, I'm starting to think, like, is it possible that maybe, maybe they, uh, they somehow, they somehow switched, switched spots, like her and her sister? They said they did plastic surgery here, right? Maybe the wrong person got killed? Maybe she was the one who was actually killed and then she got surgery or some shit? I don't know. <clears throat> nah, nah, she was injured, not ill. With my trained eye, I could see, yep, I could see it was a huge wound at that. A huge injury. Her whole body was wrapped around and uh, wrapped around and around in bandages, and her arm was in a cast. That sounds pretty severe, all right? Hmm, yes, hmm, yes. It was an accident, an accident. They're scary, yes, cars, hmm, yes. Car? You mean it was a traffic accident? Yep. That, uh, that's what gives her the terrible injuries. I swore it was the papers. Hmm. Yes, I looked it all up. I did. It was terrible. Hmm, yes. Dare I even ask what... <clears throat> dare I even ask what is wrong with this old guy? Okay. What about the operation? Just now, you mentioned something about a big operation? Ah, uh, are you asking about Miss Eni's operation? Yes. Miss Eni's. That? Uh, that was one heck of an accident. Hmm, yes. Her whole face was burnt like, oh god, like bad toast. It was bad, very bad. Was it really that bad? Hmm, it was a good thing that, that Miss Eni had a picture of herself. I heard the picture was how they put her face back together. Hmm, picture? And that girl, see? She had, she had, she had just gotten her license. She, wait. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, wait a minute, wait a minute. They didn't switch places. I, in my mind, I was thinking somehow they switched places and the doctor killed the wrong person or something. The doctor didn't do shit. Her sister must have gotten in the car with her and said, Hey, sis, let's go for a ride. Let's just, let's cruise along the highway. And then she fucking, she fucking missled that shit. Jumped out the car. Kaboom. Or something. I don't know. It's fucked up. So she just happened to have a license photo on her. Uh, on her. Hmm. Oh. So see, I got her picture. Uh, uh as a way to remember her. Yes. Well, more like sweet. Uh, more like swiped. Uh, breach of ethics? Oh, wait. Wait, what? A pretty girl like her? I bet, I bet, uh, I bet she has lots of pictures of herself. Hmm, sure. It's a treasure, my treasure. Precious. My precious. What happened to the actual license itself? Who knows, I didn't bother to ask. Probably got burned up along with the car. Hmm, yes. License photo. Okay. Uh, so you looked up information on Eni's accident, correct? Yep, yep, sure did. Hmm, yes. I read every paper that covered that's covered in that time. What kind of accident was it? Do you remember? Hmm, yes, hold on. I'll go get it for you. The article, I mean. Huh? You have it? Well, well, don't get me wrong. I thought something like this might come up, so... Obsessive to the max. But I bet I could learn about how to stay, how to stay on the lead from this guy. Here we go, here we go. Hmm, yes. According to this, Miss Eni was in the passenger seat. The passenger seat, huh? And dozing, or so it says. A strong jolt woke her up, and the next minute, a sea of fire was all around her. Miss Eni, Miss Eni forgot with, the, uh, Miss Eni fought with the door, finally got it open, and somehow managed to get away. Anywho, you can read all the details in this article. Hmm. Yes. Ah, oh, new clue. I should probably look this over. It's been half a year since Miss Eni had her surgery and got better. 
She was discharged sometime in December last year. It's already been half a year, huh? Hmm, yeah, so, how was I? A real help, wasn't I? Hmm, yes? Yeah, thank you very much. Hmm, yes, well, then, I'll be getting back to my room. Hmm, your, ew, your room, I don't need to think about that. Tell Ms. Eni I said hi, okay, hmm, yeah, hmm, yeah, hmm, yeah, okay, hmm, yeah. Okay, hmm, okay, yeah. It's time for me to leave, too. Hmm, yes. Ugh, okay, it's definitely time for me to leave. He said, hmm, yes. <laughs> Let's check this shit. I love how it said fucking, oh no, that's her photo. Where the fuck is the, uh, where's the article he just gave me? What? He gave me the article, but I don't have it. Okay. Well, back to the village, I guess. June 21st, the village. Hey, so how was it? Did you go to the clinic? Yeah, I found a few things, I guess. What's the matter? He ain't looking so well. Ah, yes. So, ugh. God. Hmm, yes. <laughs> Jesus. Now I'm stuck doing it. So earlier, that old granny called the cops. Huh? The cops? How would Morgan call the cops? She said she had something to tell them. Things are sure getting interesting. The fuck are you on about? Ah, but honestly, I tell you, the granny sure got her bloomers in a knot. Well, I guess you could put it that way. It all starts out small, you know? Stealing the stealing the master's seat and controlling the village folk. And now you and now you see what it is turned into. A murder. That's what. Yeah, what a mess. Hey, hold on. What? That stuff you just talked about. That's the first I've heard of it. Oh, really? Well, it's old news to everyone else in the world. Well, excuse me for not keeping up with gossip while I'm busy saving people. You said something about stealing the master's seat? Yep. Right now, the master is this medium's, uh, is this medium's name Misty Fay, but... The one that was really supposed to be the master was the old granny. What? I thought the members of the branch family couldn't become masters. Do you know where Eni is, Lada? Yeah, I saw her not too long ago. She's hanging around the garden in the middle. Okay, thanks. You got something to ask her? Yeah. I got a whole list of things only she can clear up for me. So, I hear the Masters have always been the eldest daughter. The eldest daughter? Turns out that old bad Misty Faye's older sister. So what's the problem? Does Misty not hold any spiritual potential? Oh. They said the older sister is usually the one with more spiritual power. Come to think of it, Maya said the same thing a long time ago. I remember that. She warned me not to take Mia's power lightly. Well, anyways, somehow, Granny there lost to her younger sister, Misty. I see. This made the townsfolk turn against her, so I hear. Said sort of, uh, said all sort of things too, like, She's the oldest, and yet she doesn't have the power to be the next master. Disgraceful. Wow, I had no idea. Wow, wow, whoa, wow. So, what would have happened? What would have happened? Eh, bap, 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 bap. What would have happened had Morgan been stronger? Maya's family would have been the branch family, I reckon. Huh, nice to know. Thanks for that, Lada. So, what the hell's going on in here? Well, she's not here no more, so... Hmm. Hey, like, I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah? I think I have enough to finally unlock her secrets. Like, what's with the scary look on your face? Like, can you, like, tell me, like, why you're lying to me? Like, it's pretty fucked up. I'm, I'm pressing the- oh shit. <laughs> I forgot, gotta go to present. Show me your secrets. Okay. So we read all this before. Gotcha. Articles about the car incident. Woman crashed car. Revealed. 
Miss Meanie holds an interview about a crash. Miss Meanie is believed the one driving the car with her sister. None of these characters talk normal. Of course not. <laughs> oh my god, wow. Hold up. Late last night, two women in a car crashed highway. Center divide. One of the women was not able to escape the flaming wreckage and died at the site. Ongoing investigation was revealed that the driver had fallen asleep at the wheel. Miss Meanie holds interview about crash. I was like totally tired and I dropped off to sleep. Then there was this crash and like I woke up in a huge sea of flames. I was like still half asleep but opened the right door and like got out. I don't like remember anything else. If Miss Eeny, if it, oh wow, if Miss Eeny Meeny is to be believed, the one driving the car was her sister, Mimi Me, Meeny. God damn it. Mimi Meeny was the. <laughs> God, that really hurts to say. Meanie Meanie was the cur uh, the curse. The nurse at Gray Surgical Clinic, where 14 patients were incidentally overdosed to their death. Is this then just a mere coincidence? Okay. What was the other thing I got? Her uh, license? Yeah, okay, her license. Alright. So, like, Meanie, tell me about this accident. Oh, wow. So, like, that person had a car. Wait, what? You can't tell me don't, you don't know. Like, how would I know if that person, like, had an accident? What? Your name's on it! Oh. Besides, like, I'm an occult fan. Not a- what? Okay? I'm sorry. Uh, died in a car accident one year ago. Was he his older sister? Older sister meaning the okay. I guess her license then. What the fuck? That's weird. I mean you have the report with her name on it. But I guess you handed the license. I want to ask you about your own car accident. M me Yes. So wow, like how strange. I have like no idea what you're talking about. Can you, like, prove I was in, like, an accident? Yeah, sure. I mean, you got this. Would you take a look at this? It's a newspaper article from a year ago. It says, Miss Eeny Meeny Hole's interview about crash. Ah. You suffered a very bad injury and had to be admitted to a hospital, correct? L like wait. What now? L that's not me. Huh? I mean, like, this person has, like, the same name, but she's totally not me. My name's Eeny Meeny. It's, like, pretty common. What in the world are you blabbing about? Your sister's name, Meeny Meeny, is, is in here, too. Like, totally wow. What a scary coincidence. I'm totally getting, like, goosebumps. You think I'm gonna let you get away with this? So, like, now what? Like, do you have something that totally says I was hospitalized? Oh, son of a bitch. I mean... Treasure possession... You're right. You're right about that. Jesus, fuck. Does it say it in Article 2? No, it doesn't say it in the article. Wait, hold up. May 24th? I mean, it's not the same day. I don't think it's the same day, right? May... May 2nd. Okay. Huh. Anything that says she was in an accident? Profile? Seems out there. Do I have anything that says she was in the, like in the hospital? Driver's license director tra I mean, she gave this to the director, I would assume. Right? This is your proof. Oh shit. You scared the shit out of me. I'll be honest, I can't see the name right off the bat, but thanks for <laughs> thanks for the follow. 
Like the my screen is pretty small. I'm not gonna lie. But thanks for the follow. Helps out a lot. Like, was that picture supposed to be me? Mean? Wait, what? Oh, like what's that picture supposed to mean? I got this from the hospital where you were hospitalized at. H huh? So there was a certain patient there. He's quite a fan. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah, I know. As a memento of your of your stay, he stole this. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cut and dry. As a memento of your stay, he stole this. I have to say, this photo looks like you. That, that creepy fake director. Now you're ready to tell me about that incident? Like, wait a sec. Okay, so like, I was in an accident, sure. But that's like, totally not related to the murder? Actually, it is. Look at this article. It says that one of the women died, correct? Uh, and? That woman who died, who do you supposedly, who you suppose they think uh, they mean? Do you suppose the woman who died in that accident, uh, oh my bad, that's me talking, dupes. <laughs> who do you think the woman in the accident could be? Well, honestly, if you ask me, I think the person who died in that accident is the real fucking eeny meeny, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go with this. No, okay, it's her sister. Like, no way. Look how badass she is now. Looks like she got serious for a moment, huh? Like, the accident was like a year ago, so like, what's that person gotta do with it? I'm totally not interested in stupid people like you. Bye. Ugh, I have to stall her. W wait, look. I, I think I know who it is. Who do you suppose who died in the accident would be? Well, I mean, it's her sister then. I believe it was your sister. Me, 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 me. Ugh, fuck. Me, 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 me. I like that. Who likes me, me, me? I like me, me, me. That's a fun song in an anime music video about how anime is bad for you, apparently. I believe it was your sister. Me, 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 me. Me, me. You were riding in your sister's car while she drove. The two of you were together when the accident occurred. Make it one and the same. Maybe the Dr. Dig Dresser. Yeah, me, me, me. I love me, me, me. It's great. I love that song. Even though you're not supposed to love the song, but I love it. Um, maybe the doctor did drug her sister and she was there by accident and her sister died and she said, cool, now it's time for me to fucking disappear. I'm gonna assume her identity. I got this. Yeah, I was writing... Riding in the car with my sister. We were, like, on our way home. Oh, it got really sad in here. Jesus, fuck. I was riding in the passenger seat when I fell asleep. And then it happened. At the time, I grabbed for my purse and escaped from the passenger side door. And your sister? I, like, couldn't do anything. The car was full of smoke. I couldn't see. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and like, boom! Explosion! <laughs> so I fell asleep and then, boom! Reminds me of, a. Uh, that reminds me of, uh, what's his name? What's his fucking name in Disgaea 3? Uh, Mr. Champloo? Every time he fights, he goes, Boom! Spices! Boom! Power! Power of cooking! Boom! Oh, I'm sorry. What about Dr. Gray? Did Dr. Gray really cause that accident by drugging your sister with sleeping pills? Like, he was totally out to get my sister. He totally did that to, like, pay my sister back. Hmm, I wonder. This does give Vini a good reason to want to murder Dr. Gray. <laughs> I see. Uh, it seems simple, doesn't it? 
What do you mean? But it would be very hard to catch me. Actually, I'd say impossible. What? I think you get the picture. I'm going to serve you a slice of humble pie. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> you just admit to murder my face? Oh my god. This is this is the second time this has happened to me. Fucking in the first game, what's his name? Mr. Splandiferous or whatever the fuck his name was. Mr. America, whatever the hell his name was, he admitted to murder to my face too. Okay, well, I'm now standing next to a murderer. That's great. Okay, well, uh, bye. I'm just gonna walk away and just, just pretend I didn't hear anything. Alright. Looks like something's up. Stop! Leave my mother alone. Wait, what? Ow. Hey, hold on. Okay, pal? I'm not, I'm not gonna hurt. Pearl, dear. It's perfectly alright. I'll be out of, for a short while with, the, with this young man. Mother, please. Let me go, too. So I said it earlier that someone may have... That there was either two outcomes. Either she... Her suspect ass fucking did the murder. Or someone did it and is super framing it on her because she's totally not hiding the fact that she wants to take over. No, he must stay here and protect the manor. But... Aw, don't make that face. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll show you something cool. Here, look. It's a real pistol. Detective! Do not upset me any further. Aw, sorry. <laughs> I love Gumshoe. He's a fucking idiot. This is the second time he did that. He's like, I'll show you something super cool. Here's a gun. Poor Gumshoe. Being dragged off by the air... By, um, by the air like that by Morgan. Ow. Mother. Are you okay, Pearl? Mother. That has never happened before. Pearls? Mr. Nick! I have a really bad feeling that I can't shake. I think someone's really bad is going- I think something really bad's gonna happen. I'm scared. I'm really scared, Mr. Nick. Say something, Phoenix. Anything. I'm terrible at this. Don't worry. Your mother might be incarcerated, but it's fine. She was kind of an asshole anyway. Nobody in the village liked her. You'll soon get over it. Mr. Nick, what about Mystic Maya? She'll be alright. I think I've I think I've gathered enough evidence. Mystic Maya, she must feel all alone. Please, Mr. Nick, go visit her. Yeah, but I can't just leave you here all by yourself. I'll be fine. Please, Mystic Maya needs you by her side. Her stare is really piercing. Ugh. Okay, I'll go see her. Jesus. You'll be fine. She has, like, a whole town to take care of her. Or whatever. June 21st, 6.38 p.m. Kept me waiting, Phoenix. Mia! Are you gonna tell me why you're lying to my face? So, how are the, how are the preparations? I think I have enough evidence information now. I think. Everything will be on your shoulders tomorrow. Whether Maya is found guilty or innocent, it's a heavy weight to bear. Hmm. If memory serves, Mia had a few psychic locks of her own. Mia, I'm ready to unlock the last piece of information I need now. Sure. I welcome you to try. Okay. It's murder. Mia? Yes. Mia, you know something, don't you? About the real murderer, I mean. Hmm. Chances are you probably met her sister in hell or whatever, the th wherever the hell you reside in. Why do you think so? It's really trying... It's really trying at times to be able to see another person's secret. It looks like it's time for you to explain your reasoning. Yeah. I'm battling a battle of wits against Mia. Yeah, because that's fun. That's something I definitely want to do. There's still a whole slew of questions for you to answer before the trial tomorrow. 
You mean like how the real murderer get into the room and kill Dr. Gray? Yeah. Also, when did the murderer enter the changing chamber? Changing chamber? Ugh, channeling chamber. You guys were all standing around in front of the room after the challenging started. Challenging. Fuck. Ch ch channeling. Fuck. Which means that the murderer must have gone into the room before the channeling. That's what I think in any case. But Maya's already said there wasn't anyone else in there. Why did I read it like that? Ugh. That's true. But if we can't figure out the murderer's motives... Um, movements, my bad. Murderer's movements, we're stuck like... Uh, fuck. We're stuck like a beached whale. Can you tell that I'm slowly losing my processing power in my brain because I've been streaming for fucking almost three hours? At uh, three? What am I saying? Almost eight hours now? <laughs> I never thought I'd see this day. Are you actually asking me about spirit channeling? This case is all about spirit channeling. And I feel like I don't understand a thing about it. Well, that's only natural. After all, spirit channeling isn't exactly an everyday thing, is it? Yeah, I guess you're right. The power to change your physical appearance into the person you're, cha you're calling was something, uh, was something our ancestor and mystic Ami Fey required, acquired. I've heard that name before. <laughs> how, are you, how are you inhumane? <laughs> I can't. Oh, man. <laughs> how am How am ham? I think you mean inhumane, but I, I got it. Fucking monster. I've heard the name before. The Fey family was originally a family known for its services to the gods. Oh, look at you all fucking high and mighty and important. Fucking, um, Zeus's little right hand man. Okay. When Mystic Ami was born, she was given a, she was given a certain fate through her name. Because, you see, she was named after one of the Buddhas of Buddhism. Uh, a mate oh fuck, I don't even know how to say this. Watching an 8 hour stream. <laughs> Technically you've been watching a 7 hour and 34 minute stream, but eh. We're almost there. We're almost there. Uh, Buddhism, uh, Atamiba? Atamiba? Atamaba? To this day, her soul is still sealed in the Kyrian Sacred Urn. <laughs> oh, you sure about that? I'm not sure about that. I usually sit in the in the winding ways and has her name written on it. Oh yeah. Oh come on, Phoenix. It's just a fairy tale. Are you saying that me being able to see is just a fairy tale now? Okay. Alright, we got this. We got I don't know why I'm saving before this, but we got this. I got this. Alright. Time for you to reveal all your secrets. Why did I click move? I don't know why I did that. I'm not thinking straight. Open your senses. Wait, what? <laughs> Look where Meyer's hand is near Phoenix. <laughs> hey, man, I try to. I listen. I got a little space to work with on that side. Usually other people in their layouts have like a way smaller screen for the game. I got I got a little side thing there. I'm trying to get everything I can in there. You know, I just hit my microphone, by the way. <laughs> the murderer. Phoenix. You think I'm hiding information about someone for you, uh, from you. Is that right? <laughs> it's funny. Hey, man, listen. Maya knows what she wants. She needs a man with a nice, firm, solid snake. Solid snake ass. Just gotta check it. You know? Alright then. Tell me how you think I'm protect- A what? Tell me who you think I'm protecting. Who I think you're protecting? Uh, fuck. Maybe you're prote protecting your sister. Um, I think you're trying to protect this person? Phoenix? Don't let me down like this. All right, fuck. I'm sorry. Shit. Damn. Sorry. So, have you gathered your thoughts? No, not really. I still don't. Who you're trying to protect? Listen, it can go multiple ways. You're either trying to protect 
Maya, or you're trying to protect Pearl for some reason, even though Pearl did nothing, or you're trying to protect your aunt because she's being super framed, or you're trying to protect her because she's dead and you met her in heaven, hell, land before time space, and fucking she's like, bro, I totally like died, and like my sister took my place, and like, bro, fucking, uh, my, I, I totally started killing people. I don't know. Who the fuck are you trying to protect? Are you trying to protect me? All right, then tell me who you think I'm protecting. She's the mother of Pearl. My cousin. Are you protecting yourself? There's no way you're protecting yourself. Is there anything here? Are you trying to protect your aunt? Morgan Fay, of course. She's being fucking set up. There's no one else you would protect like this, Mia. Okay, well done. What? While the mer- Did the song just, like, loop itself? What the hell was that about? That was weird. While the murderer was being com- While the murder was being committed, my aunt was outside with everyone else. Which means she already has an alibi. That's true. Show me some evidence that would cast suspicion onto my aunt. Well? Uh... It would probably be the key. Probably not, no. No, not the key. Uh, the Fae Manor. This place can't... The Arm of the Chain, okay. Alright. The urn. Would it be the clothing box? No, it can't be the clothing box. What the hell am I talking about? It might be the cloth, right? Is it the cloth? Be the cloth. Is it the cloth? Was she trying to burn the cloth? The proof is this piece of cloth. I found it in the incinerator near the win uh, near the winding way. It's the same material as Maya's costume, except for the splash of blood. You mean it's from Maya's costume that she was wearing at the time of the murder? Okay. Wait a minute. Was her aunt trying to, like, cover for Maya somehow? And then fucking, and then what's her name? Eni probably saw that it was burning and tried to, like, get it out? Yes. When Maya was arrested, she was wearing her costume. That just means someone changed her clothes. Changed her clothes. But why? I don't know why. But there's only one person who could have done that. That one person who was taking care of Maya, my aunt. Hmm. What's that look mean? Your argument is too flimsy. Huh? You have no proof that this piece of clothes is actually uh, from Maya's costume. But this blood. And do you know whose blood uh, that is? <clears throat> My bad, I totally misread that. I'm like losing it here. And do you know whose blood that is at the point in time? You don't, do you? Do you have any proof that piece of cloth is from Maya's costume? Okay. Do you have any proof the piece of cloth is from Maya's costume? Well, change your clothes, just thought of, uh, implications. <laughs> I'm fine because of Paulus Justice. We're, what? Alright. I'll buy it. It's like Maya's husband. Okay. Um. Shit. Now, what, what did she ask me of, of me? Any proof that this piece of from Maya's costume? Hey, listen. Listen, I love that you guys are chatting about about whoever Apollo Justice is. I would like I would like no spoilers, please, if possible. If possible, just you talk about it, but keep it tame. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I just did that. I might get there. I might get there like five years from now, but I'm, I'll get there some someday. I don't know. Fuck. Um, let's see. 
Do you have any proof the piece cloth is from Maya's costume? Well, I mean, the clothes she was wearing, I guess? Right? Or the picture of her wearing it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, calm down. Put your panties in a twist. Yeah, I highly doubt that was the actual answer. Um, it's the picture. It's probably the picture. Do you have any proof that piece of cloth is from Maya's costume? It's probably the picture, right? She's wearing it. I mean, it's not on the thing, but... I mean, the closest thing I can think of is the picture, so... Actually, do I have... What the hell? I can go with the picture. Don't have any time left. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I don't have proof. I mean, if I did have proof, then why would they tell me to go talk to her? Like, at this point in time. Do you have any proof that the piece of cloth is from Maya's costume? Well, it's not this. Honestly, I don't know. You know what? Maybe I don't have the evidence. Maybe I don't have the evidence, actually. You know what? Maybe I don't have the evidence. I'll be back. I'll be back. I feel like I don't have it. Nothing new here. Let's just do... Let's just run the rounds again. Right? I talk to you. I mean, Phoenix said he said he had all the evidence, but maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't. No. The game says a lot of shit. Alright, well. You know, it was, it was worth it. It was worth checking the rounds one more time. Alright. Back to the detention center. Okay. Alright. Alright. Just wanted to make sure nothing, nothing new happened. All right. So let's group, get through this. Who are you protecting? It's your aunt. All right. Evidence that would make her suspicious. It's this. Do you have any proof that it's from Maya's clothes? Okay. Now, it wasn't this picture, apparently. Which, I, I guess not. And I, I don't want to say it's from this picture, because there's no... You don't see blood on it, but... There's a hole in it. Has her fingerprints on it. Yeah, not that. I mean, it's the other. The other picture is the only. Did I not pick this for this? Or did I pick that for the other one? I mean, I won't, I won't die, so... Okay, I did pick that for that. Yeah, 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 I know. I know, Maya. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I did pick that for that. Okay. So then I guess I'll use... use the murder scene. This didn't work, apparently. Photo. Was arrested, suspicion. Okay. Well. Shit. All right. 
So I got this. That's fine. This game gets me so stumped. Yeah. Because, like, even though you might have the right thinking, turn like, in terms of logic, you might be thinking the same way. It's like, yeah, but you didn't think the way I'm thinking, so you're wrong. So shut up. So sit down. You don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Leave it to the pros. Okay. Now. Oh, I can't save it here? Fuck. Shit. I was gonna save it. So I could just reload it. So I don't have to sit there and go through that shit again. Alright, well... I guess it's this picture. I did the other picture. Proof. P uh... If it's not that, then it might just be... It might just be her profile. Right? You know what? Let me just try her profile first. While channeling. Because she wears it all the time, so, I mean... <laughs> just like math. <laughs> just like math. It's like, I got the answer. It's like, yeah, but you didn't, do it, you didn't do it the way I did it. I swear to God, I would, uh... Let, let me choose... Okay, so that didn't do shit. I swear that, like, I remember in high school, my teachers would just straight up get mad at me. Well, first of all, I was one of those kids that just didn't show up to school. But I still did. I still got good grades and everything else, so everybody hated me. Um, but, like, <laughs> but, like, I remember I would, like, do do the work and I hand it to the teacher, and they're like, okay, but how did you get the answer? That's the right answer. How did you get it? Show your work. And I'm like, I don't need to show my work. I got the right answer. It doesn't... It? That's all that matters. You got the answer. They're like, but show your work. I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing that. And as an act of defiance, I would just never show my work. And what's really funny is I'll be like, why do I gotta show my work? You do it all on the calculator anyways. And they say that stupid shit where it's like, eh, you're not gonna have a calculator next to you during the text, which you totally do have a calculator next to you during the test at all times. So, I don't know what the hell they were on about. Alright. Take that! See, I would save it here, but it won't let me save it here, so... Damn it. Alright. Well, I chose this. chose picture. I chose Maya. And... There's nothing else to choose, so I'll choose the first photo. Even though you don't see the front side of her. But, I guess... What the fuck? What? Huh. Let me look at this shit again. What the hell? She's playing with the mirror, blah blah. Ember remains inside the garden. Proof that that belongs to her. The hell are you on about? Don't you brub me. Don't you brub me. How dare you. How dare you. Belongs Faye. Where's my fingerprints? That's fingerprints. Listen, I'm doing the best I can, okay? I'm not used to being the dumb guy in the room. I'm thinking something, okay? What you thinking? I'm listening. Feeling like something really stupid, I swear. It probably is something really fucking stupid. I'm gonna hop over this. I'm gonna hop through the screen and strangle her. Kill her again. thinking something. I'm, I'm like this close to pulling out a guide. I'm like, I'm like this close to just pulling out again. That'd be the second time I would have to pull out a guide, and I'm not even in the fucking trial. That's crazy. Alright. Is it just the clothing box? I don't think it would be the clothing box, but would it be the clothing box? If it's the clothing box, I'm gonna be super mad. But damn, she being difficult. Like, yeah, why should she be a manager? 
Game is stupid and it presents the other things with blood on it. Present the other thing with blood on it. Really? Like the knife? I don't know why the knife would would be part of that. Small amounts of blood on it. I I guess. I mean, sure. It just has the murder weapon. I mean, when's the last time? Any other time I go like, hey guys, get the DNA and fucking match it up. They're like, oh, fuck you. Whatever. But I'll try it. Why not? I'll try the knife. Was the cloth with anything? No, uh, we just found it, like, at the edge of the incinerator. And she's like, give me proof that the cloth is what she was wearing at the time of the murder. Or that the cloth belongs to her. Right? And it's like, well, there's a picture of, of her covered in blood, so... Or, you know, her profile, she constantly wears it every day. It's kind of hard not to see it. But I'll choose the knife, why not? Even though... Even though the cloth that she's already wearing is in my... You know, even though this is here with blood on it, and that doesn't count for some reason... I guess this wouldn't count because... Because they took it and burned it? Which is, how the hell would you get your hand on something that's already in evidence? So, I don't... Mm, whatever. Uh, so the cloth... That's cool. Is it the knife? I feel like it's something else. Is it really the knife? Is it really the knife? If it's the knife, I'm gonna start crying. Yeah, it's not the knife. What the fuck? What are you- What are you on about, Mia? You're being hella difficult. Alright, it's guy time! It's I give up time, that's what it is. Oh shit. Let's see. Investigation. Okay, all right. Let's see, I'm just gonna look for the first one. I'm just gonna look for the, for the only one that we're missing. I'm just gonna look for that, I'm not gonna look for the rest. Okay, Maya says, Morgan has an alibi, presents the evidence, presents claw scrap. You found the incinerator sometime after the murder, but Maya was wearing her costume when she was arrested, so who changed her clothes? It can only be Morgan. Who? Oh fuck! Why the thing auto scrolled? Uh, where the fuck was I? Only be Morgan, who was alone in the manor. Mia once proved that the cloth was Maya's costume. Present the black key. What? Present the black key. Why? Why? Why is that? What? You mean the thing that she didn't have on her when they arrested her? What? How? Okay. The black key. For some reason. It was Colonel Mustard in the library with the black key. Because it's Morgan you're supposed to be suspicious of? No, it's not. I mean, she asks who she's trying to protect. We're trying to protect Morgan. Because they're trying to pin it on Morgan. Right? Then she says, Okay, tell me why they would think it's Morgan. What evidence would tie her to that? It's the cloth. Because you found it in the incinerator. Okay, now tell me how the cloth belongs to Maya. It's the same material Maya's costume, except for the slotch of blood. You mean, it's from Maya's costume and she's wearing at the time of the murder. Yes. But when Maya was arrested, she was wearing her costume. Okay. That just means someone changed her clothes. Changed her clothes, but why? I don't know why. But, there's only one person who could have done that. That one person you're talking about is uh, who took care of Maya, my aunt. That's what it looks like. Your argument's too flimsy, huh? You have no proof that this piece of cloth is actually from Maya's costume. Okay. Do you have any proof that this piece of cloth is from Maya's costume? What the fuck does the key have to do with that? Because 
Obviously, someone took the key with her. The key's not part of her costume. A green jewel set in the center of the key. It's the key. Okay. I think this is the proof you're looking for? The key to the channeling chamber, huh? At the beginning of the channeling, Maya has possession of this key. And yet, somehow, it magically ended up in the incinerator with the... With the... Okay. Okay, yeah, I guess that's fine, but you're assuming that I fucking remembered. Like, I'm thinking about how I found the cloth in the incinerator, because when you look at the evidence, that's what it says. When you look at the key, it just says, Oh man, it has a green jewel in the, in the middle. How the fuck am I supposed to remember all this shit? You gave me a million pieces of evidence here. I had to question multiple people and break their locks and shit. So, they're right. They're right, but... I guess. <laughs> the way they went about it was kind of stupid. And yet, somehow, it's magically ended up in the incinerator in the center garden. You're right. It's the same thing they did earlier. I forgot what, what evidence they did earlier, where they mentioned something. Oh yeah, the fucking, uh... That there were no burn marks on the outfit. It's like, yeah, if that's an important detail, put it on the fucking evidence so I can remember it. I don't need to fucking remember that I can press the check button for details. Just put, there's no fucking burn marks on it. Right? I don't need to know there's a green jewel in the middle of the goddamn key. Just say, hey, you found it in the incinerator. Well, Pearl found it in the incinerator. While I was channeling, the key was sitting inside my sleeve. And both this and both this key and the piece of cloth were found inside the incinerator. Which means that this piece of cloth was a part of Maya's costume. It was certainly seen that way. So one changed into a different set of clothes, and then burned the costume she was wearing in the incinerator. This is only one per only one person could have done that. The one person who was taking care of Maya. My aunt. Exactly. You did very well, Phoenix. Thank you. As long as you have those two pieces of evidence, you can cast a suspicion uh, on my aunt. However, however, like I said in the beginning, my aunt has an alibi. She does. Yeah, she was with us the whole time. Maybe, maybe Eeny Meeny is not trying to frame her aunt, but her aunt is so petty that she's just fucking it up for herself. Here's my final question. You don't have to present solid proof for this. But I want to know if my aunt is the culprit. Then how did she commit the murder? She didn't. She's just super petty. <laughs> uh, how she did it, huh? I want to hear your thoughts. In order for my aunt to murder Do uh, Dr. Gray, who or what did she need? This? Who or what does she need? A knife or a fucking gun? One or the other. I'm gonna say a knife. A, a knife? A gun. That was the killing blow? A gun. We're gonna go with gun. Nope. No idea. Just throwing things out now. My aunt could have done it herself. Oh, so they both planned on it? Really? They both teamed up? You kidding me? Kid me, they both teamed up? That's super petty. They both teamed up, but any Meenie's gonna backstab her. Okay. That's cool. That's fine. Well, if you know that your aunt's evil, then why the fuck are you still trying to protect her? For what reason? She killed a man. Or she, you know, mastermind the plan to kill a man. The black key, because that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Who or what does she need? Eeny Meeny. She's the answer to the final question. Which means that my aunt and Eeny Meeny were in cahoots. Oh no. Everybody get your fucking iPhones out. We're playing cahoot.
Mia, you were difficult as fuck for no reason. Okay, but still, why are you trying to protect your aunt? She's a slime ball. Something's been bothering me all this time. Or maybe you're not trying to protect your aunt? Maybe you're trying to protect Pearl somehow? Something's been bothering me all this time. This crime is something no normal person could carry out. The person would have to know a lot about Fay Manor and the village itself to do this. Yeah, I pointed that out multiple times. But Morgan already has an alibi. Yes, which is why I can't figure out how she did it alone. Well, Eeny Meeny's a fucking, uh, parapsycholo- uh, parapsy- oh, fuck. She's studying parapsychology. There's no reason for me to be this, this difficult. Exactly. Uh, yes, which is why I can't figure out how it was done. We can assume that Eeny Meeny is involved somehow. But we have one big problem in our hands. A problem? With what? We don't have a motive. Oh, we totally have a motive. Motive is, is fucking revenge. She's like, oh my god, my doctor tried to... My boss tried to kill me. Killed my sister. Took my sister's identity. And now I'm gonna kill him. And then fucking... What's her face? Miss... Miss uh, Morgan. She can... With, with my out the way, her family can take over as headmasters. Why would Morgan want to kill Dr. Gray? Why would she have to? Also, we don't really know for sure that she was cooperating with Deanie. She might have been. I mean, for what other reason would she like... Like, for what other reason would she be like, Oh my god, the blood on the clothing. I, I don't know, fuck, god damn it. Everything is so weird. You can look at it at different angles. I mean, if she was in cahoots with her, why not just keep the cloth on Maya? That's already covered in blood. Fuck, I don't... Jesus. Maya doesn't have a clue either, huh? I mean, Mia doesn't have a clue. Shit. Um, and there's only one possibility. Huh? Think about it, Phoenix. Why would my aunt do something like this? Why would she do... Uh, <clears throat> why would she do it in such an un underhanded fashion? Because... Mother... She's the one who hold the key to this. What? Your mom? Mother? Who's mine? Pearls? Don't be silly. Mine, of course. Misty Fay. Maya, uh, Mia and Maya's mother. Why would she bring her up now? Now then. Well, I mean, if she's talking about how her mother's the headmaster, then sure, but like... Looks like we gathered enough we could. All we have to do is win tomorrow. Everything will become apparent then. Right. Chief, uh... Right, Chief. We won't lose. Okay. God, if Mia gave me this much of a fucking problem... So what really sucks is that... What really sucks is that uh, some of the fucking items don't have like a full description on them. They don't list the important things that you need to know. Like, is it really important for me to know that the fucking uh, black key has a green jewel in the middle of it? I don't think so. Right? Okay. Well. <coughs> as I check the time and check the stream numbers. We have been going for about eight hours. And my family should be arriving fairly soon back from their vacation. Within like 30 minutes to an hour. So, I think I'm going to end it off for right here for now. It's also, for me, it's also fucking one o'clock in the morning. So, I'm going to get some sleep. And I have plans to do things with friends tomorrow. So, I'm going to end this here right now. Uh, over here right before we get into the trial so that we didn't we don't stop in the middle of the trial or nothing like that I will either come back to the if I don't play this again tomorrow I'm gonna fucking be doing my uh my normal hours again because now I have to deal with people around me um which is like around it's really late at night it's like around two in the morning for Eastern <laughs> And like, uh, what is that for, um, what is that for, uh, PST? 
That's like 12? That's like 12? Is that 12? No, that's, um, that's 11 at night. PST. So, that's gonna be the next time I stream. If not, then it might be a little earlier. So, 12 Eastern and... What, what's, what's 12 minus 3? Fucking... 9 p.m. Pacific time. Um... So if I don't come back to this tomorrow, I'll probably be playing either Batman or Parasite Eve. Because I still have to finish those. And... Yeah, that's about it for the scheduling stuff. I mean, you can check it in the About Me page on Twitch. So, I want to thank everybody who came to the Twitch stream. Say hello to our... To the new followers within the community. I hate that word, community. I feel like it's... I feel like... I feel like it's kind of like some occulted shit, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, my community... But, um, I want to say welcome to those. For those who watch and are interested, there's some other shit you can check out. I got a YouTube channel right there on the overlay. And for people who will be watching this on YouTube, as to you too, thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. It helps out a lot. And there's other playthroughs to see. There's the first Phoenix Wright game that we did. You can watch all that in its entirety, because by the time this gets uploaded, that will be uploaded. There's also the Spider-Man Miles Morales playthrough that's going on right now, and a bunch of other stuff that you can watch in paths. If you like mystery shit, a long, long time ago I did a Danganronpa 2 playthrough. I personally think that playthrough is shit, because the audio on it probably isn't that good. I haven't checked it in a long time. But, that's that. And, I think that's all I have to say. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. If you're subscribed, click the notification to get notified. And if anything changes within the scheduling, I will let you know via the community tab on the YouTube page. So, also, got a Twitter right there. I don't post as much, but I try to. So, there's that. And I think that's literally everything I have to say as of right now. So, once again, I want to thank everybody for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.